Good day, everybody. It's good to be back. It's good to be live. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends and tell your family. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost anything to share a little generosity. Okay, so yesterday, um, we were here and we needed a code. Now, I'm not going to lie, but I kind of... I researched the note because I didn't want to spend the whole entire stream trying to find it. So, yeah, I'm just going to type it in. And if I remember, it was 2054. Now, apparently, I think this is like mid or late game. Is she like going to come away from the door so I can get in there? There you go. Um, and yeah, this is, um, <laughs> this was all that was in there. <laughs> Just that one little chest. So, totally worth it, you know? But now we've done that, we can, um, journey on, you know? So, let's see, where do we have to go? We've still got some side missions to do. We've got outposts, Tolnex, Cauldron, it's level 18 though. Hmm, there's a possibility I could probably do that just now, but let's not. Now, do we have to... I think we have to go up and speak to... I forgot her name. Oh, wait. Can I not speak to her? Um, I mean... <laughs> have I broke the game? I think I've broke the game. <laughs> Can't talk to her. Hmm. Let's restart from the save. Because I think I broke it. Now, the thing is, though... Yeah. It's not going to let me talk to her, so... I guess we'll just have to come back to it at a later date. Maybe once I do find the data for it. Um, that was unexpected. I didn't think it would do that. Um... I mean, there isn't a anything around here, so... Yeah. I guess we'll just have to move forward then. And... Talk to Veteran. Let's go and do that. Let's call our mount. Oh, try and run away. Okay, 1,000 is not too bad. Okay, I need to remember to collect health and all that. That does call looks like it's on a mission. I'm running past all this health. <laughs> okay, let's just jump off our mount.
to call on loan again. And hope we can get past these. I guess we can just follow this track as well. Because I do have a habit of um, jumping up on the hills. And my mouth can't go in the water, can it? So let's just swim. Aloy, the try, try I <laughs> try off Lorna. <laughs> Hey Laurie, it's good to see you. How has your day been so far? How you been treating it? Make use of this. Rebels. If I leave them be, they'll cause nothing but trouble. I actually found that code um, in the head hurts today. Maybe then the rest will leave. You weren't drinking wine last night again, were you? Out treating yourself. <laughs> I also found the code um, for that door where we finished yesterday and when I typed it in, the door opened, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> um, it kind of bugged out. <laughs> Did I not clear this camp? <laughs> I think they despawned. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Must be part of Cyclops. If I can get this data, I can get the size of that. Oh no. And the deep end today. Oh my days. I need to get a rope caster. Before I forget. Now the thing is though. I need to find a trader. I think he was up here. I could be wrong on that, but I'm going to try and see anyway. Well, send me a sheep. <laughs> so not arrived yet. Sent it first class. Unbelievable. Maybe they've kept it for themselves. I definitely sent it over. What do I want? It's game and water, I swear. I just wanted to be free of this water. Can't be dealing with it today. I'm not gonna lie. The main priority was to get the door open and get a rope caster. We've got the door open. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't let me talk to her after it, so... I think that um, area is quite, like, mid-game or late game. Because, I won't lie, I actually researched the code for it. And... It said that you find it in a room mid the game or end near end game. And I was like, really? But it's like low level. 
but yeah apparently it must be because when i opened the door and opened the chest would you when i opened the door um there was nothing even in the chest it was like pretty boring stuff like basic things and it wouldn't let me talk to her after that so I don't really know what's happening about that or what that's all about but I guess we'll find the code at some point and um, all we have to do is just speak to her really because it was just one chest that was in there as well so I don't really know I need to make sure I get These medicines as well. I've only got like 20. Now I'm hoping there's um, a rope caster. I think if I get that, it'll be a lot easier for the big machines. Because you can just pin them on the ground. Just finding it though. We can't do anything here at the workbench, can we? We can craft some I don't even have resources for that. I'm starting to run out of resources really fast. Two times skill improvement? What do I need for this? A sunwing shield caster? Frost hunter bow? Hmm. I'm starting to think now, is it really worth actually upgrading these? Do you know, especially if you're going to go out and get the blue ones? I mean, it's okay like doing it like this right now, right enough, because these are like... I'm not really taking much resources, but... Hmm. Let's um Let's see if we can get a rope caster. I'm pretty sure this person up here had one. If I'm not mistaken. If it's not this, if it's not a gentleman that's up here, then, uh oh, then I don't know where I can get one. Please say you have a rope caster. I hold these hunting grounds to the highest carja standards. Oh wait, no, not him. These grounds are always open to you. Hey, Red, what can I get for you? Oh, he does. Oh, thank God. Buy and equip. Hmm. Guess we can change it for that. Take care, Red. Now, can we upgrade it? Oh, 
I really prefer a blue one of these though, but I'll have to do. And we can fully upgrade it. Oh, and we've got a pouch upgrade. Rope pouch. Hmm. Rope castle is ideal for flying machines. R2 by aiming to fire a rope. Attach Save. enough ropes to a machine and it'll become tied down, preventing it from moving for a long period of time. Ropes must be shot at full draw in order to attach. Oh. Train, what does this take? Machine muscle? Okay, let's. I was going to like test it on like these, but I guess I'm better off saving it, aren't, aren't I? Yeah, like double there, aren't I? Aren't I? Hmm. Uh oh. Okay, so let's um, take that off and. Head over to this unit. I don't think it's the main anchor side. I'm going to have to swim across this water again, aren't I? Oops. At least he didn't want to get off there. Okay, let, what have I got in my stash? I need to know. Got a hunt. So you do have Okay, what's going on right now? Can I get my bloody potions? Not enough room? I'm so confused right now. You saying I don't have any? Open stash. Small. It's not even letting me take them now. I think the game's bugged. Yeah, but I don't know. At least we've got berries. Just bury our way through the entire game. At least we know we've got 161, 161 of them. My days. Can you not like just jump down there, man? Let's see if it can make its way down. It's like, what? Where'd I go? What am I doing? Okay, I need to move out a little bit further. That way it'll respawn. 
There we go. So, what was it this? You're back. Hey, Lloyd. You managed to get those parts I asked for? I'm working on it. I can't remember what it was, Ian. I should get going. Good luck. Did you find those shell walkers, Aloy? Shell walkers? Hmm. May I have to, like, look into that? No, I think I've got like. Did I not unlock an ability here? Zelda? If it isn't the hero of the day. Sure, I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working Nomad's Land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know? After that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. <sighs> you can say that. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak, the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through this stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this, too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. <laughs> and that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. Well, let's hope not. <clears throat> I'm not even going to lie, I'm absolutely tired today. <laughs> I was like, nah, I bet I've... Oh, don't. Hear me. I'm using all my shards. Yeah, I was like, um... um it's like, I'm not going to stream, and then I was like, you know what? Stream. Even when you're tired, you still have to do it. Because it makes you feel good. But I'm, I'm not actually tired. It's one of those days. Yeah, I'm on X, yeah. I don't really post much though, Laurie, to be honest. Um oh, wait a minute. What's this? Yeah, I don't really post much on it. I really should be like posting every time I stream and stuff, but something I have to start changing. 
Jax. It's lucky for me that you're here, Outlander. The name's Jax. A squad of Tanakas hold up in that cave. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm here to offer help, but with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult. Even when help is no, needed. I just have a. Will you stand with me? I'm, I'm just going to say Twitter. I only have a Twitter. So I know, I know it's X it. now, but everyone always knows and it's Twitter. get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spear at my side. I'll do what I can. You there! This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. So far, so good. <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> Yeah, I've had it. I've had my. I don't even know how long I've had um, my Twitter account. This one was like I said, I don't really bother Boy, with social media. Nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help. If you think it's like full. So Taro, no, we're on a training mission. No negative, eh? But a parlay too. Like not you never really find anything real on it, to be tenors. honest. Because no one actually put, a says a veteran. Puts anything up that's real, if you know what I mean. Like everyone's life's perfect. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let? But that's just my personal opinion from um, my experiences being on it. Or they want money for you to like. Means? You have to give them money so they can like. Sh um expand your tweet out to to real people in the world <laughs> like so sally training mission you said you're on a training mission a machine hunt the final test before young squad goes on active duty everything was going fine we tracked a claw strider and hit it hard but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks one charge right at Corey. he dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed i hit an acid canister the spray was like fire in my eyes terrible wound. I should have scouted ahead. Spotted the herd. No. I should have spotted that canister. That's what I heard. X you have to pay to have it. Yeah, I know. It's like, um, if you don't... Like, for instance, if you've got, like, friends and you tweet, your friends will see it, obviously. But if you're like trying to expand, as in like get to know people outside in the real world, um, you have to give them money to advertise it. Like, so when you say a tweet, you might get maybe a hundred to fifty views on it, and then that's it. But if you give them money, they'll advertise it, which means people will see your tweet. So essentially, you're paying people to actually, like, befriend you. Which is the most stupidest thing ever. Because you you never find real people doing that. The only thing you find is fake people. Like, yeah. That's just my personal opinion. So that's why I don't bother with social media. Because it's just full of bullshit. Excuse my French, but it's so true. What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to like imagine to having to pay change. someone to speak to them <laughs> like come on back when there was that's how bad it's getting offer yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them over time this tribute grew into an exchange of people the Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles and the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of plain song I was just such a soldier but don't get me wrong, like YouTube's pretty yes. much like that as well. Um, like, you if you're not, you like, to grow your channel really fast, you can easily give, like, 50 pounds and you'll get, like, 3,000, 4,000, like, um, views and you'll get, like, subs straight away. But it's all, like, bots and fake people and, you know, it's not real people. I would rather sit here by myself and have, like, no real people than go out and spend money to get people to like 
try and like me if you know what i mean like because most majority of the time the, the those types of channels that spend money all the time to get views the people don't enjoy their content or they're not there for their content they're just like it's because they're like being advertised everywhere like i don't know what the advertisements look like but they're probably like check this channel out like make, make it sound all fancy and stuff subscribe and you'll be in for a prize or you know something silly like that and then people just subscribe but they never come in and watch or come in and like have a conversation so i would rather have real people than no people at all that's just my personal opinion though i know everyone's different um but that's just the way i see it i would rather have someone that would tell me tell me that i'm doing things wrong or i'm you know like someone that's true and will tell you what they actually think instead of like someone that will just say yes to you all the time because who wants yes men all the time or yes women you know what i mean like yeah i don't know how can we help what do you need supplies dried meat ammunition weapons camping equipment a lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert everything we need is at river watch a huge cache of war spoils up there left over from the route the route when our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of Riverwatch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there, ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on the brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you, hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. Because it's like I was saying yesterday, Laurie, um... Like, you could go out and put in your title, Giveaway, and, like you'll get people coming in and they'll sit there and watch even though they have zero interest on your channel or what you're doing just to get a free mouse or a free game or a free keyboard or a free headset or you know a free pc but they're only there the for the prize way. they're not there for you so we get those supplies like I, I wouldn't i would rather not have them at all What's than that to mean? you know your get some numbers because numbers don't mean That's anything your problem, farmer. you want if you're going to have a successful channel then you're going to down. you're going to have to have real help, people remember? that like so your channel say. and are going to be in your channel and want to be in your channel and not just there we'll for you know a particular Boy, reason or a particular thing you see it all the time with some streamers not all but some streamers like you have like people that will <laughs> donate money to them and then the minute the streamer doesn't do what they tell them they start like using it like oh remember i gave you this remember i gave you all this money and all that and you're sitting there thinking to yourself like if that was me and someone said that to me oh. i would just kick them out of my channel straight away mm -hmm. i'd be like what I what sort of mentality is that tough as a ravager this one like someone's giving you money and you that. think that they're there to like they're giving you money because they're being nice and they want to help you but then the minute you don't do what they tell you to do all of a sudden you owe them something yeah i hate people like that I thought you were going to help. Let her be, we'll wouldn't be me <laughs> but that's just personal you know everyone's different Sometimes there you are, Ken. The best delving crew in the what is he you're doing? You told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? 
Rushavid. And yeah, I do think you're real too, Laurie. hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees. The That's what I'm saying. Like real people are hard to find. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? That's a lot of data. Stuck in the house. Oh, day in and day out. Should we be sending for a healer? Whatever Do you not like go out like maybe like little walks or something like that or system. Oh, um, I don't know. You mean like, a cover for the do you not like? No, more like something that could come handy in a fight. What? Why is it? Um, do you do you not like going out, or is it just there's nothing that you can think of to do when you Unless like by going out? We are leaving. Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Maybe we still can. And plus, being in the house is not a bad thing as well, to be honest, as long as, like... Well, they say, like, as long as you do, like, get exercising and that, see, so that, like, you're not, like... It's apparently it's healthy to have, like, a little exercise, even if it's just, like, I don't know... Jogging on the spot or something, or maybe... I know a lot of females do yoga. I know that, um... How did you find what this place? This place it's a bad neighborhood. Every good expedition starts with a it's, ab it's actually the so tonight, dangerous these days outside. Out the I'm not even going to lie. Soldiers describe this lake. You hear about terrible right, stories all the time. I knew as soon like, as I heard the tales that people taking their dogs for a walk and never coming back. Like, a promise that hasn't been kept, at least so, so far, I don't blame you. But like, want, like, will be rewarded with some not really want to go out. Especially as a female, as well. It's a terrible thing. The dig site. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the site seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. Before you got married, you had a car? It was the tray. I was so enamored like, with it. I didn't even see the machines closing in. Maybe every well, I don't know how much fuel is I'm over where you are, but fuel's quite expensive these days as well. You but you should from a safe take distance. a car and go somewhere like in any nice and I had hoped I don't know, like by the water do. or I don't know something you like to do. Crew in the claim. A little nature Instead, walk thing where you can walk around the water or walk through. Obviously, you've you been married, take your man with you so that, investment. you know, you're not by yourself. Um, why come west? Ruins in the east. Why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah, well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Or even set yourself little the goals. Set yourself little goals that are manageable. The secrets of the west. Like, every Fine. second day I'm going to, I don't know, do some wrong. yoga. You then when it to goes to the second day, day, even when you're I tired or you don't feel up to it, Ideally, just push yourself through and do it. It's like me today, I'm, I'm totally tired today. So Somebody's got I've had like, I don't drink like coffee, but so I've had like two cups of coffee. Just to keep me awake. I'm super tired today, I don't even know why. I did get up super early right enough, but I was like, you know what, I'm still going to go stream, even if it's a few hours, you know, like three, four hours or something, or at worst, if it was like two hours, I'm like, at least I've done it. So it's just setting like small goals for yourself, manageable ones though, you have to have like short term goals and long term goals. Um, it's like me, my, my short term goals is to they pretty much stream every day whenever I can. Obviously, some days it's not possible because of life, you know, like family events or maybe I'm not back in time for being out kind of thing like that. But I always try and stream, even if I'm not stick, uh, sticking to my actual stream schedule, as long as I've got content up. Um, then I've, I've basically done a short term goal. And the long term is, is to stream for a whole year, so you should set yourself little goals, even if it's like things you can do inside the house. Maybe do two paintings a month, you know, something small and not really, 
might not sound big, but it's about setting little goals and achieving them. Makes you feel good. Well, I think it would anyway. Makes me feel good. Knowing that you've thought of something for that day and then completed it, no matter how small it is. Even if it's, oh, I'm going to do the dishes and I'm going to do laundry and I'm going to hoover. As long as you set goals and then complete them, you go, you know what, today I done the laundry, I did the hoovering and I done... You know what I mean? I, I, I done my goals. All about Where's this dig mentality. Seems like the best place to start. Being positive, Lori. Thinking positive. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully, just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. Could it even be something really small, like I'm going to groom, like brush ten cats here today. Then tomorrow I'll do another ten. No, it's something small and silly like that. Well, it's not silly, but you know what I mean. Something small, hey! something to like keep your mind occupied and like something to achieve, and then you can make your goals place. bigger as you go. I know that's it sounds it's easy to say than do, but um I don't know, I think you just have to even when you don't feel like it, do it anyway. Cause there's plenty of times where I don't want to do things and I have to. Perfect examples today. I didn't really want to stream today. I was I tired. I'm like, I kind of want to just go to my bed. But I was like, you know what? Let's not. Let's do something productive. No matter how small or whatever it may, ha whatever may happen. You're alone most of the time? Was your, your husband working all day or something? Play video games, at garden and learn stuff on YouTube? I mean, even something like... I'm going to learn a new language and just... Learn how to say hello and goodbye in a particular language and use it as a small hobby but as a small goal and then before you know it within a couple of months you can actually probably most likely speak fluent in that language okay where am i going right now i'm going to go in the opposite way opposite way See, it's very important um, when it comes to, if I'm going especially to getting shards, married. I'd rather do it somewhere I can you have to um, work at, uh, work harder. Good, you're back. I think I She's in the water. Listening to this farmer. I'm like, what's she doing in the water? <laughs> this game loves me in the water. I swear. Learning Hebrew. There you go. But you lacked off. You can still go back to it. That's what a lot of people do. Um, see people that speak multiple languages, especially like ones that are really um, popular on the YouTube. Right under that arch. Um, that's what they done. They just sat and spent a couple of hours per day just learning the basics. And look at them now. They run around with like 10 languages and it's pretty insane. But like I said, you don't have to like, it's not like college or anything or university where you have a set time to learn or, or do a particular thing. Um, you can just slowly do it. Because it, it, it does, it won't really take long. Like I said, there was apparently, um, 
you can learn things in 20 hours. So a couple of hours a day, or even an hour a day. How did that hit me there? It's in the underground. Oh my god, there's no armor. Oh, it's dead. Like you said a while back, like learning history and stuff. Yeah, like history is important. No, well, that's that's good thing um, information to like know. And there's like so much things history wise, like it's vast. It's a vast um subject. Keep some extra on hand. It's essentially like just like I always say, do things that make you happy. Or things you enjoy doing. Same as well, you can like overdo things as well. See things that you really enjoy. Sometimes you can actually enjoy something so much that um you tend to make it unenjoyable, if that makes sense. Like you can over enjoy something. So I always say it's like good to have a break. So that you don't like wear yourself out kind of thing. It's like I was saying like going to like males going to the gym. Like they go to the gym every single day. And they don't give their body time to re recuperate or recover. Oh wow, it's the first time I've seen we've had a light. You always got a torch. Don't think these machines are gonna make climbing easy. This is an absolute random quest I'm doing right now. <laughs> I didn't even mean to start this quest, but I guess we're better off just finishing it now. Can relax a bit now. Hey. Is that everything? I guess so. Hmm. <laughs> Better than wrestling alligators. <laughs> the, um, what do you call it? The wetsuit. <laughs> now, what are these things for? It doesn't look like it's blocking the way up though. Special gear. So we don't even have that gear just yet. What's this? Oh. <laughs> cool. There's some scorpion there. Get over here. <laughs> I still can't believe them used do that over there. Wrestle alligators and all that. That's insane. I need to find something to stand on. Hmm. 
Your husband's okay with going on live games and talking. Does your uh, husband stream too? But yeah. Oh no! I got the explode. I got the explode. <laughs> Yeah, games are um, first and most importantly for fun. You know, I do understand like a lot of people like want to make like a lot of money and all that off it, but you have to enjoy games because then you end up just playing them for the sake of like playing them, and you don't really enjoy them. You're just doing it for for other like gains or needs but if you just have fun then it just it doesn't matter really so they're having fun that's why they're made that's just me personally i always have to say that it's me personally because everyone's different you know it's just like i might think a game's fun and someone might think it's terrible you know so it's, it's like one of those things but you should always like aim to try and play games you enjoy or have fun playing. Now I don't even know why I'm in here. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Okay, there's a box in there. Hmm. Yeah, like there. Can't grab it from here. Better try further back. Huh? Try further back? What? It would be nice to know what I'm doing in here. Hmm. Oh, he's starting to watch them. Is that? Where's that? Is that in? It's there. Oh, I open. Doesn't look like Sakura supplies. Better keep looking. I think you can learn a lot when you um, watch other people um, streaming. Can I? How do I get down there? This isn't the cache I came to find. Glide in? Oh, oh wait, I can just jump over the wall from there, can't I? I didn't even notice that as well. Now she said. That wasn't the cache she came in here for. Am I looking for a, a chest? I have zero idea what I have to do right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay. She doesn't want to jump up there now.
Why don't we do it? For... Wait a minute. Is this something? Well, caster won't work on this. Okay. That's how you open this then. <laughs> now. To take it, I have to... Are you going to be able to, like, drag this out here, or is it... No. Yeah, she can. Used to do art shows and community volunteer for stuff. What made you stop doing it? Small cash. Can't be the supplies Sakura wanted. Like, I'm confused. Like, what is the point of being in here? What have I do? <laughs> I don't know what I have to do. Kill the machines? What these machines? Oh, it's acid for that, isn't it? God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the last of Spear OP. There we go. In a river watch. Marys can change your life. Yeah, I do know that marriages um takes a loot the war chest. Maybe what? Okay, the supply cache should be at the top of the tower. But how to get up there? Oh, that's Tower. You should be more worried about that left arm than my old bones. Let's see if it's up here. But yeah, yeah, marriages do. They take a, 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 a lot more work. It's just cause, um, like you said, things do change when you get married. I think that's just like a natural thing though. But I think, um, like you have to like try and not let um, things change, but like, it's my, my uncle, he never got married. He, he was engaged for 14 years, they never got married. He passed away a couple, like two months ago from cancer, but he never ever got married. But they still had children and all that. Jackson Sakura are in trouble. I then when we asked them, like, why, why do, you, why are you not going to get married? Like, you've been together for so long, and he's like, he was just, they were just too scared to in case it like changed the relationship. But I'm like, you're been together so long so everyone's like different okay what did I get from that chest as well I didn't even notice how much skill points do I need for a three hmm
Hmm. Well, that didn't gain it. I thought maybe I would have got an outfit or something. What are these ones? Adhesive. Hmm. That's for the slingshot, I think, though, isn't it? I kind of need to like start using this spear and all that but at the same time I don't want to run out of resources storage container to make cat videos got to go got to go man talk later okay then um Enjoy the rest of um, your day then, Laurie, in case you're not able to come back in. And I uh, appreciate you coming in and speaking as always. Locked. Not getting in that way. Let's check around the side. Wait, what? What's he dropping? Arrows? <laughs> awesome. Oh, there's Jackson's core. I gotta get in there and take down those machines. Oh, no. The bag. Bag machine. It's like a hippo. <laughs> it's a giant hippo. Oh wow. Wow. Bring it back here. Big hippo. How much do I need for these? Oh, there we go. Then you go back here, then you go. Bam! Bam! <laughs> Result. Rope caster for the win. Stopped up berries. <laughs> it's done. I better check on Jackson Sakura. Oh, I'm totally digging these spears, though. Bag time. Small cash. Can't be the supplies Sakura wanted. Okay, let's get more of these berries though. Okay, Jackson Sakura. Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. It was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. So you were going to use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The chorus would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can.
Okay. Return to Eagle Squad. Many arrows do I have? Of over a thousand. Oh, go back to normal arrows. Keep forgetting that sometimes I like waste my uh, like armor. I guess we're going to have to go in the water. I want to get like quite as much as I can done today. Campfire. It's not at the top of this mountain here, is it? I guess it is. This is unknown. Show walkers use this passage regularly. And Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. The convoy. It's here. Uh-oh. Speak the truth, plain and simple. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. So, we're all stocked up then? The cash was empty. But we'll be alright without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind! He'll be safe in Plainsong. And the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The Chorus won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Cora wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura, I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanat can stop me. They will be foolish to try. I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. Okay, got two skill points, let's put those into melee might. Spear energy build up as well. Now what are these things? Increase your awareness of weakened enemies and the duration they are knocked down. 
Knock down weakened enemies with a power attack. Ooh. Maximize the damage. Deal elemental damage with your spear by attaching elemental capsules from your hunter's kit. So let's upgrade this. And... Low health resistance, low health regain. Automatically recover health sooner when you are dangerously wounded. Awesome. Um, and... There's some explosives. Oh wow, let's take a way over there. Can't do that, I don't think. What one was it again? Go to the base. Okay, let's do that one. That one's a little bit closer. It will only take a short while, then we'll be on our way. Oh, I thought that was a campfire. Oh, wait, we need to get these drone things, don't we? Don't know what they are, though. Now, what's this unknown? Shell Walker. Detected. Let's see what we've got in here. Black box. This is Transport 95 Yankee. We are switching to the new bearing. Down there, in the city. No, it, it can't be. Projections put them 200 miles out. Well, they're here now. Quickly, bring hmm. us around. Unknown shelter. This Pharaoh's machine swept the food of life. All those people lost. Okay, we've got a campfire here. So let's quick save. Anything we can do here? Epic upgrade. Hmm. Let's just upgrade it. Fast travel. Yes. Might as well fast travel to this campfire.
Wow. I need that, um, <laughs> after on an enemy with an energy spear, creates a golden blue energy point. This point can be shot. Hmm. Take it then. Killed everyone here. Oh, one survivor. <laughs> Um oh, room on me. I can send it to my stash. I'm guessing it's up this way. party took down a few machines when they were here there's the broken bridge i'm gonna have to take care of these machines before i can look around <laughs> Come on, I did all that. You can get it then. I see you get it for trying to save your friend. Where you going? Get down there. <laughs> How many is there? I better start at the bridge. Okay, I only got five more of those, so... Let's not...
Get these meds. Useful for making dyes. Okay, so I have to... A lot of footprints. Must be for the search party. Examine. He said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. It looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory. I don't know if I have to go up or not. Here I come. Oh, yeah. Search party climbed the cliff instead. Examine? This broke off some time ago. Where do I get the feeling this isn't going to be an easy trail to follow? Maybe it's in here. An old Utaru trailhead. Looks like this is where the rite of discovery started. Okay. Debris on the trail. That looks like pieces of a bridge. Looks like this fell down here a long time ago. Maybe from a storm. Okay, why is that spell like saying that? I'm guessing it's like keep going up. A lot of the trails broken away. Such relaxing music. Have climbed way up too. If Kalar made it to the top, she must have been a good climber. It doesn't add up that she fell. Yeah. 
This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. I was playing song. Just like the first two times I saw it. What's that noise? Thunder? Getting all these baddies, man. Telling you. Need them. Keep running out of them. And I have a feeling the answers are on the promontory. I still need to look around up here. Figure out what happened to Kalai. Kalai. Examine the stone table. Flowers. Ground into a die. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. Examined footprints. The search party was up here, all right. There's too many tracks to pick out Kalai's. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalai was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Probably ran in there. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the dye trail. Looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. Bree mentioned this was part of the write-up discovery. All of the marks look old. Kalai must not have gotten to this part. There we go. Follow the die trail. Trail ends here with a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. Oh, examine broken branches. Branches were snapped off recently from some kind of struggle. And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. Take this to a dyer later. Two bodies? Oh. It must be Kalai, but who's the other woman? Examine corpse. Kalai. 
Those marks on her neck. She was strangled. At least I can return her seed pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. Huh? They would do such a thing? But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Oh my god! <laughs> You've done it now! Well, I guess that answers how the killer died. Uh, oh, I'll keep going. Oh, you're going invisible, do you? Wow, really? One shot? Okay. I guess that answers how the killer died. Yeah. This fight over just yet. Try hide. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I better grab the killer seed pouch. Might help identify her. They're actually like bombs. Okay, let's gather more of these again. Yeah, those spears are pretty um, strong. <laughs> They're really good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you use a rope caster with that as well, savage. Kinda don't want to miss anything though, you know? I want to collect everything. Especially resource-wise. Okay, these berries again. Seeing as my poor potions aren't working. Everything. I don't know. It's a weird one. Okay, let's um gather the seed pouch. 
Maybe Fane and Cal back in Plainsong will know who the seed pouch belongs to. Black box? Let's see how far we can fly. My mount died. I'm going to have to get a new mount now. Man, I've got like 200 in my stash of these berries. Like, I knew I had a lot of these berries. Hear a rumor. Outlander, hear me out. <laughs> I hear Tanakh rebels have taken over the border gates west of here. Best stay clear of them if you're heading that way. Thanks for the heads up. More rebels. Okay. Taro have enough to deal with. Maybe they could use a little help. May the wind carry you. Hmm. I don't even think that. Hmm. Maybe you can only carry uh, 20 of them. Lament Calais' death, but perhaps it's time to move on. No, not until I hear from Aloy. <laughs> That's Calais. You found it. Bree. Calais didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Calais and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her. While she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. Belongs to Lina, Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she. You there? Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the east gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summer wind. She's running away. She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you.
Okay. Um. Go to. Summer wind. Going down. Careful, Outlander. These fields are wrought with blight. Okay, I need to find a strider. Okay, so I guess I have to look up here. There's Kel. What's she holding? Make sure there's nothing to loot. So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There is a natural order to all things. Growth. Decay. Death. It's the way of the world. A tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. And I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. It ends with you. <laughs> Two people dead. At least you're paying with your life. My choice. All of this was your choice. <sighs> no. She needed to stand trial. Kali deserves justice. She's dead, Bree. That's justice enough. It isn't much, but I want you to have this as thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kali. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now, it seems I must thank you. For revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed, new growth can thrive. Okay. Two skull points. No. Energy surge, energize your spear quickly for a powerful final strike. Resonator damage. Hmm. Energize duration. Okay, so go for this one. I oh, only need one skill point, I think, to unlock that and increase your awareness. Seems okay. 
Okay, so I can like save that point. Talk to Fane. I'll make sure Kel's body. <gasps> Face paint. Kel's treachery will be a shock to many in Plainsong. I'll plant Kali's seed pouch in Plainsong. You made that possible. Okay. So now it wants us to... About the fate of the caravan. The roots that bind. How far away is that? So we up the top here. It's not really that far. Oh, I forgot I don't have my strider. I don't think these are going to attack me, are they? I think they're, like, friendly. Maybe? Yeah, I think they are. I guess this is just another site, isn't it? Drone must be part of Cyclops. If I can get its data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. Let's what do I? Get up there. Oh my days. Okay, let's get over here. There's no point in fighting all of them, you know. Wonder what's up this place though. <laughs> Killing wildlife without even realizing it. Like, can you not know, like no hey Lloyd. there we go <laughs> then up oh, that's me <laughs> oh wait you can't actually climb up that way Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like. What the? You can get a strong color out of this. Hey, like, you know, like, glide, please? Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna try and climb up there, and you don't even have to. I do that all the time. I always go, like, off-road and all that, and then... End up... Getting lost. smiles for your families the Tanakh understand only strength and ours was a poor display at best they will be back you the one who actually won this fight for us a word I want everyone fortifying the pass ah, your warriors seem green as early spring there are children playing with sticks that's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utaru who can. Never thought I'd oh. be using what I learned then to fight against them now. Now, I wonder if this place has got like a die. 
We may speak freely here. What's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide mauls leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people. But you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. Okay. Your daughter seeds? I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. Okay. The drum root? What makes the path up to the drum root so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people. But machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. Okay. Metal pods. Tell me more about these metal pods. They are. Tricky to collect. The wide maws sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. Okay. Here. What exactly do you do around here? I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. Okay, what do you need? Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. This way. With those paws and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Make sure we're stocked up. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. I'm waiting to see their It'll spear. The of their lives, that's for sure. Back damage. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here.
Okay. Talk again. This is it. Do you have any questions? No, I'm good. I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. What? Oh, have I gone to this cave? Not a problem. I guess it's up the top here then. Yep, this way. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. Let's see what we've got in here. I need to find a way up there. Oh, a chest. No, she. Wait, did I miss that there with that arrow? Can't get into that barrel. Get out. <laughs> If she, if she would make that there.
Do more spears in case we... Well, we're on the right path anyway. Not the other side. idea doing that there? Nah, I don't think it was. I think that's the whole idea of dropping the ladder. It's up that way. Suppose it's down this way then. I wonder what we'll find. There they are. Those pods they're rejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Looks Me. like I can just pick them up. 
up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. Hmm. I kind of want them to know I'm here. Oi! Oh. Like happy Portimus. <laughs> Come on, you big happle. You've done it now. Don't even think about it. I'm still in this fight. That's what should do. <laughs> oh, I should have tied it down actually. Could have used my rope caster. to pack again these is it these plants I don't think it is Down here. Let's go. I want one more. I guess that's that. I should check the wide moss for pods. Check the what?
Okay. Oh. What did I... I guess I collected what I had to. How far is this? Oh, it's just down here. I'm back. Got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? When this is over, I'll make sure we find his seeds and plant them in the grove. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. What's going on right there? Where's my arrows going? Oh, you just these ones in? Not a problem. Cast him. Oi. Ah, oh, it doesn't work on them. Ooh. Save yourself on fire. That was silly.
Okay. <laughs> Guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. Ooh. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. Okay. Sharp shot, boys. A powerful, highly accurate, long range weapons. They have reduced accuracy when fired while moving and cannot be aimed while sliding. Remember, shoot elemental arrows to detonate canisters of the same elemental type. Not a problem. Oh. Touching his bum there. Little bum rub. So where are we going to now? About the fate. Oh, how much skills do we have? Melee damage. Oh, it's five. Got it. Knock down making the enemies with a power attack. Why not? Okay. Main quest. Oh, in fact, we got this bow, didn't we? <clears throat> Hmm. I want to put that on, no? What perks does it give? Increased chance of critical hit. So it does 45 and 22. Hmm. Oh, this one's better. There we are. Um. Okay, the main mission's like over here. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, I guess we're heading over there now then. But before I do that, I need to quickly use the restroom. Yeah, I'll be back in two.
filé. Hein. Verbal outposts. Okay. Mm. Way a bit of a journey away, but... Don't do that. Taru and Plainsong told me about. Let's see if there's anything useful inside. Oh, look at all this. Just mean you back, boy. Oh, there's someone on there. Get off there. What are you doing on there? Get off. <laughs> I would get off if I was you. That's going to blow up. And you may not do that. It's kind of rude. I didn't think I looted that there, but I guess I did. Well, don't worry about running out. Well, I lost my mount. Unfortunately. Drop the what? Oh. 
<laughs> Let me try like George and really all time. You've got something that belongs to me. If you don't mind. Let's have a party. I'm home. I've brought some gifts. No more shots left. Not a problem. Up a shot. Yeah, where? Not doing that. It's rude. Where are you? Oh, you're hiding up there, are you? <laughs> Your leader been telling you porkies. I think he's been lying to you. Up. Oh. oh, I thought it was the green stuff there. It's not. I guess he's up the very top. Still can't craft those yet. Okay, let's go and introduce ourselves. To this leader. I should check the leader's body. I find something useful. Hey, what? The 
the leader's body? When did I kill him? <laughs> like what? Wait, I'm confused. Where was the leader? She's around here somewhere. Ready for anything now? I've got plenty of wood. Um, where can this leader be? <laughs> I don't remember killing the leader. He's usually quite buff. Beefy. Is he out here maybe? Oh, did I not loot him? There we go. I've seen Snog soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. Okay, I lost my strider though. I'm gonna have to find another one now. On the path now? No. Oh, I actually have to go through there. Okay, where can I get a strider? This will be in my stash when I need it. I don't think there's any nearby. People have moved in here now. Okay. Is this... I think these are striders, aren't they?
must be part of Cyclops. But... Data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. But how to get up oh, there? I can't jump up there, okay. Well, I guess we're going down this way. down here. we're going the correct way. Going on down here. I remember you saying this would be easy. Sounds that? like there are people in trouble. Anora! Hey! Over here! You! Nora! Oh, come on, game! Yo, oh, let's just jump for to the chargers. Okay. Let's go there with those to lock they're doing here. Over here. Yeah, yeah. Atakito? I'm uh, guessing you're a Tanakh the patrol. How did you end up in trouble with those chargers? You need to answer our questions. We don't answer yours. Atakito, she just fought on our side. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly what that means. And we've enough to do chasing down these Regala zealots without picking fights with Nora warriors. Regala's desert to knock. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting this out. Regala has forgotten her duty and let her anger at the Karja draw us into. We will speak about this later. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go on to the Grove, Nora. The Grove? Our capital. If you want to spend time in this area, you'd be wise to check in with the commanders there. Got to brace myself against this wind. Okay. <laughs> because we follow orders, and orders are we stay neutral in this fight. What sort of soldier? Let's actually let these first. Things. 
bike stop. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> What level is it though? No, oh, let's do it. Where's the control panel? I don't think it's, th it's not through that door, is it? actually down this way. Okay. Wasn't the cauldron? Oh. Okay. I guess I can't do that just yet or something. Weird. Really wanted to do it there as well, but. Damn it. Hmm. I'm getting close to Ether's location. I said it would be in Let's just go to the story. I've had a little bit of fun on the side missions. <laughs> Be inside. Oh, 
Getting around's not going to be easy with Tanakh's warriors. It's everywhere. No log. Wait, what's this? Another data note. We are made of steel. Talk to Decker. Gala's forces may seem strong now, but her machines Deca? took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Lai. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaru. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. Um, visions? These visions. You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Okay, tell me about chaplain. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. Okay, what about Hakaro? He wants to see me. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. Okay, well, let's go and see him then. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the ten. Come on, Back to the hollow projector. Been complete. Oh, is she going to do something with that? No? Okay. More notes. Okay. The ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. I can't when read the it. time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. 
Okay, I thought I was following her, but it seems like she's following me. Like, I don't know where we're go. I guess I'll just go to the marker. Go to the throne room. The ten climb sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They Watch make their the homes visions. in the mountains northwest of here. Okay, that's one. What's this one about? The ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevail. So the okay, desert clan so. does the same. I'll wait the highlighted now. Their territory on the way here. Go to the throne room. They sound a little extreme. They take that as a compliment. Okay, that's the throne room. So let's activate this. Talk to Untal. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with soldiers in the jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depth to distract the enemy until the perfect enemies. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Where is she? Okay. Are you the only one listening to these voices? Oh, no. The others who captured the Osiram Delver heard the voices from these ancient warriors, too. They spread the word, and now a lot of people are talking about them. <laughs> Soldiers are interested in old battles. Okay. Trade and recordings? I've brought you more of the voices you're collecting. Another chance to learn about this lost war. Very well. Okay. Gear up good. Hmm. We will honor the voices here. Not really sure, Let me know when you're ready to part with them. Um, locating the, Locator beacon on locating the, the recordings is open to others, but the signal doesn't always travel very far. You're lucky that the old ones speak to you. I wish I could hear their call. A collection of voices. Will the new voices I brought help you? I don't know much about this other great battle you said these recordings are from, so anything I can learn helps me understand how these warriors fought. Okay, are we on my way? I hope you find what you want from these recordings. I don't want to hand these recordings in just yet in case um I get better gear. Like a better outfit. I'd rather save them and keep them for Keep them, all, uh, keep them all for a better upgrade. Well, there's plenty of notes in here anyway, that's for sure. Okay, let's head to this throne. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. Plenty of hollows anyway. Inside. Are you ready to see him? 
I'm ready to see the chief. Come thing. Good. Come. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta. In single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. You what? Want my spear? Defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? <laughs> You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Takote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Um, do you know about Regala? Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. 
After we turned back the red raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. Okay. What was Regala's challenge? What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation, one she will never be free from. Okay, and what's Regala's goal? So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. And what about this cool route? What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. And um, tell me about the Sky Clan. Why will the Sky Clan send contestants to the Cool Root? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Okay, tell me about Fashav. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav, he will be missed. Okay, why me? Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All to not respect strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Catalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is main. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. Okay. What about the chamber below? You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to save her. Or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter. 
and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. The old what ones? What did the old ones say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines, and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace, until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool root. This I swear. Okay, I'll go I'll north. Do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Deca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Ooh, upgrades. Yeah, okay, let's talk to Deca. Making good use of this. Should have got all these. Come, let us speak. I already read that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, Decker. Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Okay. Two your precision arrows are now available for one of your sharp shot bows. These powerful arrows deal high tier damage I'm with a compressed easier. air blast. To Use them to remove armor plates from tough opponents or detach useful fast. components. I'll be faster if I read. How much skill points do I need? Energized duration, energy surge. Um, consume a special potion, full health defense, silent strike. Health potions provide more healing. Carry more medicinal berries. Machine. Um, oh wait, I have to... So... Reload speed, stealth damage, knockdown damage, critical hit. Do a critical hit. And equip. Put it instead of the other bow. Don't need a machine in there. Okay, how far are we to go? Are we to go? Wow, that's far. 
Hmm. This opens the map up, doesn't it? So. Also be able to check out this bull. Activate this, don't I? Okay, what is here that's um Oh, you want some too? Just got to stand there and stare. Let me help you out. Get down here. What the? You think you can hit this far? Don't think you can. Okay. Can I save now? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this component here? Fine horn aren't we? I think I need these for upgrades and um, for pouches and stuff, so... Sure, if it would make it. Oi! Don't want to like stay in the ground if you don't mind. How about you give me a weapon?
The fun's begun now. Nope. Oh no, where did it go? This one then? Wow. I'd found the first one as well. It would have been so much better. Um, let's go back. You're a bit greedy, aren't you? What do you mean of no ammo? You stop fire now.
Okay, I can't find your gun. Keep an eye on where um, Reload. I need to get his weapon. If I get the weapon, I'm fine. That's twice I've knocked that gun off and don't know where it's landed because it's in the tall grass. There's no bloody indication on where it's sitting. But apart from that. Maybe the big gun's not the way to go. Okay, that's not a weapon. Like throw it, please, Eli. Hmm. Guess I need better armor, unfortunately. Only got like two discs out of that. That's weird. Okay. Well, at least we're in the big machines now, so that's good. I need to get better armor, though. 
a bit of the um, trap caster. Oh. oh, it's just like, I was like, what? I think the green trip casters can hold them down. So it's unfortunate man, I want to fight it, but There isn't really anything I can do. We've got crocodiles and everything over here. Okay, can I still go up this way? I think cold. I can, can't I? We're getting close to stone crust. Well, let's just jump off. Does it take forever to like mount up here? Look at this though, we're in the snow now. Wait, what is this? Hope this tastes as good as it looks. Winter pale berry. Okay, is this like down below or? This was long ranged. Hmm. Why are you going behind there? Okay, it's down below. Hmm, it's hard to tell, isn't it? If it's normally it will say up. 
or down. Oh, it's in here. Oh wait, they're the enemies, are they not? No, they're not. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, like, why, <laughs> why were you crawling there, Aloy? Kind of awkward. I'm not gonna lie. Is that the champion from the East? Then I've something What's to share. looking at. Okay, so I'm not used to meeting Easterners. Oh, she gonna tell me a, a gossip or something? No. Regala wins this battle. I won't accept her wounds. I don't fight soldiers. I just wanna talk. Um, I'm. Oh, listen to Rumor. What you've done for my people is known throughout the clan lands, Easter. I'd like to help you if I can, lending you my eyes and ears. Nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it. In fact, I should tell you, the further west you go, the deadlier machines become. If you're smart, you'll stop by our hunting grounds south of here. Get some training in before you face a real fight. Thanks for the advice. I'll stop by if I'm in the area. Greetings, champion. Okay, so machine strike. <coughs> now, is there someone in here that sells? Oh, he's a cook. Oh, mustache, go to here. He's stalking our berries. I see if there's someone here that does outfits. guy down here Okay, so I'll just talk to this dude, Gotalo. This valley is infested with Regalas rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. Um, 
Stonecrest? What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. Okay. Regala's machines. Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I... Don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. Um. Still healing? You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Hmm. For all the good it'll do? For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Hikaru's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't going to change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you. Um, the bulwark? What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. Okay, tell me about the uh, Takote. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair. He has nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chiefdom from behind the bulwark, biding his time. Hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? For now. What happened to your arm? The way to the bulwark. What? So, <laughs> what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Regala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get this over with. I don't think he's going to be able to do much. He's only got one arm. On me. Travel safely, soldier. Well, like, him willing to, like, go out and, like, face these machines. You gotta hand it to him. Come on. To knock the respect of Blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. Handy companion. Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. 
So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. Against who? The other to knock the clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. Rebels ahead. Hacking away at that machine. Got them. Or sneak around. I will follow. Got them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dude's got a shield. For the fallen marshals. Here it comes. What? Attack from the back. <laughs> he means business, doesn't he? Look at him for one arm. He's doing him, um, putting in work. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Onwards to the bulwark. <sighs> oh, I cannot let that. Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. Mm. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a false sense of safety there. More rebels in the clearing. Take the lead. Hmm. Ah, they don't have any rocks. Shield Defender. Fight me. Yeah, get out in the open then. I'll fight you not a problem. What? How did I end up getting close to him there? Get out of the trees. Oh, you want to do that one bullshit, do you?
Okay. Is that all of them? We're out of sight. Mm. Let's move. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the clan, I would welcome that day. I oh, can't see him. I think it, okay. it still counts though, like, as in unlocking it. Change his mind. Here it is. The bulwark. The Let me know when you are ready, hmm. and I will announce us. Your little he. Marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, Marshal. I'll send the lift for you. Again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. You heard him. Move it. Uh, Is that uh, uh, the last march. Oh. Very fast. I have to see if there's any outfits. Stunley I'm designed for trapping and melee combat. Hmm. Critical strike, melee damage. It's better than what I have, but because hmm. that's silent strike and silent heal. Don't really use silent. Well, give me one more trap. Give me one on my melee. Hmm. Critical strike. I'm actually going to buy it and equip it. Oh wait, I didn't check coils. Plasma defense. I think I already have that, don't I? Like two, I think I have already have these. Is 
By look, edit weaves. Defense against plasma damage. Range defense, melee defense, concentration. Hmm. Fire defense. I really don't know what to put on. Hmm. Do I want to reduce the fire? Or do I want to... Oh, let's put this on. Get rid of all this. Mm, the thing is, though. Can you imagine what it feels Have I got any skill point? No, I don't. Well, this is a warm welcome. Is there a what bench? Want to continue? Let's save it as bonfire first. And see if we can upgrade anything. Oh, got a pouch upgrade. Okay, more arrows. Outfit. Hmm. the bow. Wow, you can only upgrade them once. <laughs> oh wait, I can upgrade it again. There's no point in upgrading that. Um, hmm. Trade with Hunter. Bike thrower? Iron Eater Shredder Gauntlet? When it makes cells at launch and acid shredders that deal more damage with each catch and reuse can be upgraded to deal more damage over time. Now we've got a blue rope star, so let's. Equip that and 
canister rope star, a special type of rope star. Instead of firing ropes, they use canister harpoons that can attach elemental canisters to machines. Canisters can be detonated with an arrow of the same elemental type to create a large elemental explosion. Canister harpoons must be shot at full draw. So essentially you're shooting things at them and then you have to shoot it again. Hmm. I don't know about that. I'd rather like pin them down. Um. Oh, I need shards to upgrade it. Hmm. Okay, well, give me a second because I need to quickly run to the restroom. But uh, yeah, I'll be back in two.
So tired, I can't feel my eyes. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh. I'm petty, but I know how to lie. I feel feelings that I can't describe. I'm not breathing, but I'm still alive. Whoa. Things to change, but change is not come fast. I'm asking all the questions, but then I question them. Like, what's the point of living, existing when you can't see your God in flesh? I'm looking for the answers. They say to pray instead. I think I'll find them one day, but with the helping hand. I know that it's not easy, but I believe I will. Yeah, I'll get over all my fears and really conquer everything. I think I'll be alright, 'cause I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up yet. I feel that it's my time. So what? Okay. Fully upgraded. I'm blasting all that for that. Hmm. I don't know. We can try this um, canister rope star out and just see what happens. If it doesn't work. We can just go back to the rope caster. 
So there are like more abilities on these um, weapons now, whereas before... You didn't have like canister ropesters and all that. Okay, I need to head up the way now. I think the outfit was worth it though, to a degree. I'm hoping anyway. Named Marshall. Yeah, man, is this? Oh, it's not. That's just that game thing. I'm not a big fan of that game, right enough, but I'm sure people will find it interesting. When they shunned me or when they stopped and stared. Right now, I prefer shunned. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Root. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow if he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. But that was then. But tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? Because... Maybe... We're going to blow up. That wall might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Wait, like down the bar? Already, Outlander. Oh, just you wait. <laughs> oh, I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Okay, time to scan the wall. Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. 
Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. How? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. Well, this way? Oh, is it this? Going into the wall towards a hollow, maybe. Now, better scan that tank again. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. Well, I have to go like all the way back up again. Not a problem. This easy. There you are. <clears throat> the guard said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. What in the name of the ten have you been up to? Dakota said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark, right? Well, don't remind me. So, we take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock Even and metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? That was an unkind comparison. <laughs> Okay, give me a second. So I go to here. There we go. The rebels might have made camp northeast of here. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Well, you may lack sense, but you don't lack courage. So, um, back there with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll do that. Okay, I guess I have to like just stay on this path. I wanted to like run by there just to like unlock it, but unfortunately I have to stay on here. We're getting close to where we saw the rebels before. <clears throat> well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Focus on the others. Mm. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. 
My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we march. Frost will make it brittle. The Sky Clan will fall. <laughs> yeah. Finish that wretch. Okay, this is week two. Okay. Is he, you want to like walk down here, dude? Hey, did you see that too? Go and check it then. Like, why is this dude? Why is he not walking down here? I'm confused. Like, come down here. Hmm. How's your day? Well, I lost my toast to frostbite. Ooh. Thanks for asking. There. <gasps> Sit down. Like so much for him killing him, you know? Just sitting there letting me do it all. Actually, one shot. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad. Soon we march. Like the Sky Clan will fall.
Alter. Nah, I'm like completely confused, man. Like... I can't even craft anything? Are you kidding me right now? Just please select the weapon I want you to select. Actually, no armor. I'm not even any wood or anything. Like what? How am I supposed to beat this? Confused. <laughs> Saying I've got no word or nothing. You know, I'm running about collecting all this wood and they're like just taking it all away. Like, what am I supposed to do right now? That's not going to do anything. Right there. Like... I can't believe I'm having to run around and collect wood. Are you kidding right now? got over a thousand wood in my stash. Metal shards? Are you kidding? Ugh. You're always better off just sticking to the normal bow. You really are. Because with the normal bow, you're always get ammo. Ah! Uh -huh. 
getting me on there. Uh, why are this? Uh, why is the fucking archers there? Uh, It's, it's like nearly dead as well. I see you call BS right there. Straight up BS. And this guy does absolutely fuck all. He does absolutely fuck all. He's doing zero damage. I'm having to kill all these little fucking minions for him. And everything. He's doing jack shit. I don't even know why he's there. Like, why have him next to you in the game if he's terrible? Look at him. Fucking one hand it. One hard garbage, man. Sitting there getting absolutely destroyed with these fucking stupid arrow guys. And having to deal with that shooting at me at like. Just fucking hits you like in the middle of nowhere. Why can he not take care of any of these?
fucking days, I swear. Can they just sit there and just keep like having enemies? There's not another weapon here. Fucking ram in the vein now as well. <laughs> That's hilarious. have to do to get this thing to explode yeah <sighs> I swear
man like this dude has done absolutely nothing look at him he's just standing there expecting me to like destroy this thing by myself keeps firing rockets and everything again what kind of bullshit is this well, i'm sorry but this is just straight up bullshit right now it's just straight up bullshit Fucking downed, I think. I'm not giving up. man man just fucking this same old bullshit man I need health, man. Come on. That's me. I'm done. I'm not looking forward to hauling this all over the bulwark. Mm. Here. I mean, that was some BS. But I've still got a strong back. After you. 
Man. One skill point. That's what I got for it. One skill point. Unbelievable. Agility damage. Increase damage dealt while falling or sliding. Like, every one of my resources was gone. I had no way... Well... It's insane. <laughs> that was nuts. Chill water. Hey. You fought well back there. He didn't even do anything. He was down the whole time. Aloy, hey, don't try and make him sound like he was doing something. I've got tons of potions as well, but they're absolutely bugged in the game. You really think this thing will do the job? <clears throat> well, soon enough. Okay, I better return before it turns around and says, "Oh, mission failed," and I have to do it all over again. That's insane. Wait, look. That's nuts, man. <clears throat> Still did it, though. Okay, let's head back to camp. <sighs> I can't believe that there. That battle was just... Like, what? Like, I bet I didn't even get anything, like... Parts wise to like upgrade. I guess that really the game wants you to really like go out and upgrade your outfit and upgrade all your bows and do like resource collecting. Went all the way out there, there is. for that. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up. We just defeated that for that. Use the cannon. Okay. Could have blasted away some rocks so I can explode the power cell. It's working. This impressive. Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves and leave this poor mountain alone. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Leave this place, Savage, now and take this cripple with you. Never! You've done it now! Woo! Rumble! And fire! Done it now. What have you done? Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaro. Never. Never. We will. We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. 
let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challenges would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. <laughs> Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Gara. Okay. Three skull points. Energize duration. Quick dropper. Concentration. De Concentration depletes more slowly. Gain valor when hit by enemies. Silent strike. Mounted defense. Hmm. Recover concentration faster. Let's have it deplete less. Ranged master, bolter, more damage, ranged. <sighs> Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. Okay, so let's head up here and see if there's like any face paint or whatever. Also, see if we can upgrade. Which I highly doubt. What's going on here? The Wallbreaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka, Lataka, to your training, now! 
Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Would you mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I get it. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. No slacking, soldier! I'm coming, I'm coming. My same. Save. You need supplies? Use what bench? Can't do any pouch upgrades. What do I need to green shine fragment? Hmm. Gonna climb up there. Pento, you better stay safe. So it's up this way. Tell me there's no face paint place here. Secret ingredient for someone, I'll bet. Maybe this is it. Ah, here we go. Yeah, some face paint for her. Looks okay, doesn't it? Hmm. Kind of like, kind of like this one. Cause it's like not too much, you know, it's like, it's... 
Yeah, let's do that. I like that one. The outlander has shown us. We must join the crew. You're brave to There you go. <laughs> Not much, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, that fragment's like a way up there. Up here. For an outlander. Bulwarks, outlander. There was the outlander who embarrassed. Regala is on the march. Her insurrection must be defeated. Talk to Gera. Are you Chaplain Jera? Catalo said I should talk to you to see if you need help. Bold move, wallbreaker. Burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. I, I was just at ease. Many in the clan agree with you. And Marshal Cotella was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light, against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Cotello showed up last, with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower. One we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing, it must be reclaimed. But those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them, especially when their chaplain supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Takote another black eye. Sounds easy enough. Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The watchtower stands beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. You spell Regala as easily as the bulwark, Outlander. Okay. Can you spell Regala as easily as the bulwark, Outlander? Your plan is built for courage. A blade is a blade. Why do we need a cushion to prove that? The Outlander has shown us. I guess this is all I got here, doesn't it? Yeah, it's up down to you. Serviva? Yes, Serviva? Oh, Serviva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the ten. But I say, hanging on to a stormbird for dear life isn't the same. A Tanakh throwed a stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a strong word ha huh, you admit it you're talking about her like she's no longer around she's not after she grabbed onto the machine it flew off with her to that mountain top the stormbird still circles the peak but we never saw farika again that's sad what a way to go i'll say a shame no one can reach that mountain top she was a great soldier with armor to match and it serves no one lying up there. I'm a pretty good climber. No doubt. But unless you want to try what Freka did, there's no realistic way to get up there. For now. I'm telling you, she flew. Still. No. Oh, it's on hold because it's level 32. Uh. Hmm. You got a face paint for it. Go to the start of the climb. Hmm. You know what? I kind of want to do a bit of the story because. I'm pretty much running around doing side content and yeah. And let's just fast travel over there as well. So I want to do a little bit more. I want to do some story. 
I feel like all I've done today so far is um, side content. I think I've done one mission, maybe one main mission. I kind of want to like find out. Plus, we get the new face paint, so we won't look. I think we'll look good. Let's go to this bonfire, uh, campfire. I could reach the wall. I might be able to use that to get in. Black box. Okay, it was pretty much just to unlock this campfire. So let's just continue on to towards the story. Chief of us. Better pass. Outlander. Chief Akaro and Marshal Katalo await you within. Crazy how we're like running out of ammo. I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaru's throne. And either. Right. Down here, isn't it? Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena. Pass the throne. Chief is waiting for you in the arena. Further in. Another dare point. This must lead to the arena. Another day, uh. You need to like pause it and that. Especially if you're like watching on YouTube. Turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. This could be useful. Heavy weapons can be shot off, machines are picked up from fallen human enemies. Deal more tear damage while in stealth. Increasing their ability to remove an enemy's armor and parts from machines. Automatically cover health sooner when you are dangerously wounded. Do you know what? Going for it. Hmm. 
Stress fire. <laughs> there we go. Talk to Carol. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. We both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come from you. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Okay, peacekeepers? You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounced the clan that birthed them and pledged themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Okay, where will you be? I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Um, tell me about the arena. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool root where they fell. Okay. I need a little more time. I'm Fine. totally changing this. Um... Outfit. The look of it, anyway. There we go, that looks a bit better. Ready? Let's get started. This over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the north barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the ten. I'll see you when this is done. Okay, um walking on us. Go to the north. Battle's coming. We celebrate. You can feel it in the air. It must not be. Hikaro against Regala. Open stash. Resources. Take. Take. The fate of our tribe will be determined in battle. What do I need to upgrade this? Abandon. Abandon. Create. Okay, so. Where's the trader? Be a real show 
help the machines fall. Marshals rise. There hmm. will be blood spilled today, no doubt. This will be a heavy day. Another day. Uh. This cool roach will I've honor got some the charge riding on this. Your blade be bright. Your arrow. The final battle of the challengers let the blades heart hammers for it. Wait, wait a fuck. Oh. That was clumsy. The desert contestants look more flamboyant. Regala will come for the chief. Only question is when. Hmm. You know what? We'll get shards anyway, so... Oh, can I not fast travel? Them? Your enemy is Do you have ceremonies like this in peace? Regala will come for the chief. That lowlander contestant is already marshaled. Battle's, 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 Battle's coming. coming. You can feel we'll it in more the air. I hear one of the Sky Clan contestants has an injury. Mr. Coates, are you? Look at this thugs, of course. Look, comrade. She beast in her. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Hmm. <laughs> Totally digging this little makeup though, because it's so simple. It kind of suits her, you know? Sort of like makes her, um, makes her features pop a little bit. Not too much, you know, still like natural, but a little pop. Okay, metal shards, let's go and, um, wait, it's not shards I need, is it? Now, why is that? Why is it disabled? What's up here? Not alone in this fight. I speak to watch out for traps in the environment. Oh. Not jump up there. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, leaving quest area. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> Disable these. Now, who's Decker? Decker? Soldier, 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 soldier. You would think it would be this person here, wouldn't you? Who bears the guilt for any blood today. Soldier, 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 soldier. Oh, up the top there. Hmm.
Maybe this way? Oh. You know what, jump up, did you? Like? <laughs> what the? not grab that. <laughs> what the? Jump! <laughs> Jump, Eloy. So confused, like why could you not just jump on there? Um Maybe I can glide? I don't think this is a way either. Don't tell me I'm leaving the quest area. I'm trying to get to the quest area. How do I get up there? I'm totally confused. I think you can climb up this section here. Seems like it's the only way to get there though. But... Yeah, there's no way in from there. What? No. Completely confused right now. Like, oh, my days a bloody ladder right here. <laughs> Focus on the machines, take them down. And Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. Ooh. Dunno! The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood, new leaders! Release the quarry!
villagers, approach! All who take down a machine shall be named Martian. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory. So what is it? Who kills a machine first? Wait, the weapons are on the side? Good to see you. I'm still streaming. My husband came home early, so you had to do stuff, clean and cook, and all that. No, no. no, that's fine. Like, like I said, nah, um, you don't have to be here all the time, Lori. I appreciate when you do come in, though. Have a conversation and stuff. But life um, gets in the way, so you can't always be here. So it's understandable. Don't worry about it. Oh my God! moment in the game. I want this gun for the entire game. Also got some upgrades as well. We're on a purple um, outfit now. So 
It's been um, quite a good day. I've done a lot of side quests and though. The side quests were actually quite fun. So I was like, let's do a bass story. You've done it now. Get to the weapon. If I can draw that thing close, open fire. Hey! That's right over here, you big worm. <laughs> Hopefully we can find a few shots from that ballista. Oh wow. You've done it now! Okay, I have to like try and get up there. Um hmm. I'm not I don't like a rapple or anything. Can't climb the wall. I don't I think going up here is going to do anything. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, what's up there, sweet? Actually, aren't I? Oh, what's this? Medium health. <laughs> they don't bloody work. I think the game wants me to complete it um, just on berries. <laughs> Done it now. Oh, you're running. This isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Akaro will be run red. I think she was the one that was on the, the machines the first time. I think that's the same, um, same woman. Pay attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Radala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. I think this is like the first damn um, Gaia thing that we had to look for. The ether. That console. Let's just make sure there's nothing in here. Database. Is there not like even a, a chest or anything? Really? I thought maybe they'd be like, what was this? Oh, that's to lead out. Hmm. I guess not then. Okay, insert Gaia. 
Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring ether subordinate function to original code. <laughs> Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. Return to base. Okay, so that there's nothing here. throughout the grove are different now and this one it, it just appeared is this your doing visions have changed that's the one that inspired chief hakara more testimony of the old ones Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Aunt Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Interesting. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Hmm, my cool mission. All right, I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Okay, we've got to go back to Gaia. Sure, 
Might as well set a new record. Join JTF 10 for a covert operation. First one will strike for us. Your spear shall lead us. The final battle with Regala is nigh. I can feel like I need to. What's she going to say? Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kabul. He was not counted among the dead. Which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Cavo is the last of my blood. Um. Join in the rebels? What made Cavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Kavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. Okay, last of your blood. You said Cabo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. Okay. Well, he listened. So if Cavo didn't listen to you when he joined the rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cavo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it Your neighbor's throwing out a, he will a, a nice air conditioner. I just have to find him before it's too late. Was well, it easily fixed? If it is, fix it up and keep it. Will Hikaru accept him back? If Kavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, if it's a, if it's a good air conditioner, I would I would definitely. The chief knows if it's the fixable, fix it and keep it. And the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. That'd be hilarious as well. Like your neighbor walks out in the morning and sees his, his previous air conditioner working fine. Um, finding your grandson. I'll help you find your grandson if I can. Where do we start? I, I wouldn't well, even have an idea myself, Laurie, to be honest, because um, we don't have air conditioners. To the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts so also really, spotted one of I don't our own. Really know. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Kevo is. Cost squad. a lot of money, though. I do know that. Shall we head out? I think they're like what a thousand or two thousand dollars. Um, I'll meet you there. I can't. I want to do more story. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. Done a lot of side we'll content. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then. If it's in the window. Strike true. Yeah, if you can get if you can get it working, definitely, I would. Because people throw things out all the time, 
when it's not really like broken or anything. Like people actually make a good living off of them. Um, people throwing things away. So, Kala, I just want to like get the side quest updated, but I'm not going to do any of them. I'm going to jump straight to the story. Do a lot of story. You need the arena, but the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training, herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaru won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. Do you have people like need, throwing out, um... I it. Like paintings or hunt down some machines and grab the parts. Um, We'd ask someone ornaments else, and all that, and they're worth the thousands. But the task is not without and don't realize that it's worth right. a lot of money Kala? until of someone takes it to like. Is open again, I will um, be to invite you to compete. Can't remember the name of the people that, that deal with that. Not rest um, not restoration the people. Arena, they like fix things up, but. You'll be able to trade the people them that the like very best sell them at auctions and all that. Ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, because I can remember, me, I hear a story one time a few on years ago that someone had chucked out. Okay. Um, I'll see what it was I like an ornament. It was like thing. really if stupid looking. It didn't wild. even look really that I nice, but it was worth thousands. Someone chucked it in the bin. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved like with their Sanford squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find that's such a TV tags show, is it not? Outpost. If you do, is that not a TV show in America? I'll make sure Could be wrong. To the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation. I don't know anything about it, but I'm pretty sure and I've heard there of are it. There bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Thank you, Champion. And please don't forget the parts for the Ballista. Like, over in the UK, we've got, like, a show called Bargain Hunt. And people, like, bring stuff in all the time. So, um, some things aren't, like, really nice. Like, they're not really valued much. But you do get, like, a lot of things coming in as well that's, like, looks hideous. You're like, what? And then they check like the marking on it and they're like, oh, this is worth thousands. And people are like shocked. They're like, oh, this was a magic. So you never know. Um, because people throw things out all the time. And they don't realize the value of them. Like, obviously, you have to, like, know it, to be honest, like... Deal elemental damage. Not really too sure, but... Let's unlock it anyway. Yeah, like... Yeah, Monty Python. Monty Python's, um, quite an old show, as well. Don't even... Wait, did I not dodge in there? Back to Gaia, don't I? Where is um? Where is Gaia? Up over here. Oh, just travel there. <laughs> Why not?
But it's even like you'll get like people as well that rest are restoring people. They'll go out there and they'll buy like used up consoles or computers or, or things like that. And like most of the majority of the time they don't even spend a lot of money to fix it. And they make like a lot of profit. I see you, champion. Sit, please. Oh, she's got a rumor. If you're ever in need of a quick refuge, well, there's an ancient sound tunnel rebels. north of here that machines tend Maybe to if avoid. I, follow their trucks, I, I can scouted find it where many headed. times trying to find I a way further in. My focus to but the way the is the way it's locked. trying to tell you a rumor. The had in there, they <laughs> kept it locked away. Thanks for letting me know. Ancient tunnel, huh? You shouldn't miss Might be a good idea to take spray. a look around if I'm in the area. <laughs> she was like just talking to I'm talking to herself there. Well that um Lucka woman was trying to tell her a, a rumor. Okay, where am I going? Up this way. I think there's um I think the closest thing I can think of is American show wise. Um when people get like well they sort of buy things randomly. Is it called storage hunters? Where they go out and they buy like um people who have like been maybe evicted from their homes and they buy this like they buy it and whatever's inside they keep. And sometimes they find like crazy stuff in there as well. That's the only thing I can think of, it's quite close to that. Like people finding like crazy stuff. The thing is like people that put their things into storage and then they can't keep up the payments or something. And then like someone this. buys it. Oh, uh, you're Sometimes there's like gems in it. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back, trace the line, to your right, other right. I just saw it, it's the one Aloy found. Do, do I know, like personally gotcha. know? I know of, um, a few female streamers that are from a, America. A concussion beat party or something. But I don't like yeah, personally, like, no, if you know what I mean. Aloy. I suppose that counts as knowing someone though. You're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on. If you can do your thing, we learn fast enough. We Storage, help make that happen. Uh, you want all the backup you can get, right? No, what you're talking about. We there. still have much training to do, of course. I think it was called Storage Hunter. Or Hunters or something. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. I didn't like watch it. I wasn't like a regular watcher around. of it or anything like That's that. I just remember. I heard there were um, people's blood. Well, seen it with one, eye open. one time. I think he's seen enough blood for. I think it was like on MTV or something like that. I'm not 100 percent sure. It was like an old. It's an old channel anyway. Like I know that. Things under control. May have not been MTV actually. Right. Or it might have been. Training. Catch up as fast as we can. It was. A, it was a while ago. It was quite a while ago. I just remember well, it though, like. While you've been off gallivanting around. I've been like working with guys two guys and I want a female or something. Or it was, it was two guys, I know that much, and they buy like storage areas. And they open it up and they don't know what they're getting inside of it. But sometimes it's nothing, you know, like just all garbage. And other times they find like really good stuff. But people like genuinely make money off it. Why don't you check the cash? Eh, uh, talk to Erend. Hey. Hey. A uh, nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> That's nothing I can't handle. Right. But yeah, like, I, I know a few American people, but I don't like 
message them like offline or anything like that. But I know like a few American people um, through streaming. I know like people from all over the world really. A lot of people like from Canada, India, um, America, England. Um, yeah, I talk to like a lot of people really, like streaming wise. I like to get to know people. Um, you're training. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know. The old world. I think it's good to like understand. I, yeah, I even talked to um, most of it, but people from like really Brazil as well. How you're ever able to find it's just good to like know different something. cultures and different countries, and, and now I do. that way you can have a conversation with people. That makes me Feel makes like it a lot easier you know it takes like to have like it. something in yeah. common to talk about um the zeniths i guess you know what we're up against by now so for an exchange yeah, i'm not gonna lie when varl first told me those bastards come from the stars i thought he'd eaten it's like there's a female streamer stars. i watch and she's from yeah, brazil I've gotten used to seeing and then things thanks to you i just wish they weren't always she, trying like, to kill us like yeah. now they've got like beaches and then um, like they say like they sell coconuts like normally when we go to like we don't have any like people selling anything at beaches or anything but she said there's like stalls and all that like selling coconuts and I was, I was quite fascinated by it I was like what and then like learning about the uh, favelas and all that carry on like what it's what it's really like and stuff I don't know, I just like getting to know people from different, um, different countries. Even like over in America, like different states have different rules and different cultures and things like that. Just like when I first started speaking to you, I was like, oh, what's your culture? Like what's like the most things that you do over and where you are in like Louisiana? It's just good to know, I'm you know? Settling in. Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land. When he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. A guy named... It's sad, but I can't really see it because it's got like a love heart and it's covering the message. I can just see Sab Sabatic, Sabatical, Sabatical does travel stuff. He's on YouTube, so he like so, goes to different countries then. Our new Tanakh friend. He's uh. Quiet. See, I like to know, like, people I from, like, people just their natural habitat. You shouldn't believe like, you going to different yeah. countries is, like, you always go well, to, like, the best areas, though, don't you? So really? Sabbatical. Sabbatical. Sometimes I try and pronounce things, like, an American, because I know that you is, like, pronounce things different. Like, I... I think what, what I've learned from talking to people from America is um, they read things the way it actually like says. I don't know how far I can I explain go. it properly. I'm here if you need anything. Like, I'm trying to think of a, a word. Um, Aloy, can't think of right supplies in that chest. But I do know that you um, pronounce things a lot different. Like, you will pronounce things the way it's actually, like, sp spelled compared to how it's sort of pronounced. Do you, know the do you know what I mean by that? that sounds lovely. Or am I sounding yeah. brain dead as usual? <laughs> they burned it to the ground at some point. Oh. But they helped bring part of it back in Sobek's time. That's... Good to hear. 
I wonder if it grew back. I saw Tival. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, it's from New York. All the data she got from your focus into that it's archive like, room. For instance, like people us, will be able to access will come and visit days. Scotland, you know, learn and train. but they're always going to like the nice areas in Scotland. Your side. So you don't really get to know Scotland That's if you know what I mean, because it's always the nice areas. It's never like um you're training. So, it's never like really like so, huh? yes. Training. Um. Mostly. Like town based or faster than I can already. I'd be a slums or you know of course. like actually what it's like to live on a street that's not like in the city and all that. Not like a way out in like farm lands and all that. Unless someone's like staying there then you um, something over there? We still, just going still an interesting and intriguing to, un to understand. And all Mother I like to know things like from the like the bottom, like the actual bare bone of the where they're from. To guide them. Not like city based and all that. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt. I know a lot of people like stay in cities. So beautiful. But the average person doesn't really. The average person like stays in a an entire tribe. Like a small house and you know. So I've spoken to people that live in like um, trailers and all that, trailers, like trailer parks and stuff. I find it interesting. Looks like I was Zenith. wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. Um, companions? I'm guessing you've spoken to You know what I'm saying? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told them I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like you. It's just like when like, people go on like, holidays and visit places. It's always like the nice areas like and all that. It's never really like mother. what it's truly never like in the country. Because so it's all tourist. It's all tourism stuff that they're, they're watching. Like when people come to Scotland, it's always castles, big cliffs and vast oceans and well, you know, like big water, vast um, water with nice cliffs and all that um but the average person's like not sitting at some how's um handling their focus fancy house in the middle of a cliff moments. you know <laughs> Aaron definitely curses the most but i'm hoping Osiram stubbornness prevails how's everyone doing just we don't just eat in. spicy food. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. I just I thought like Louisiana was for spice, but I don't think it is. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe we'll be fine. Like, cause I thought Lu uh, Louisiana was like known for like spice, if you know what I mean. Like chilies and um, just culture dishes is all based on spice, but I don't think it is. That's what I originally thought. That's why um, it's ni it's nice to like ask. That way, like you under you understand and you know. Our enemy is immortal. Hey, it's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our like over in the UK, it's it's basically hearty foods. It's always like warm Vision. foods and heavy meals that we have. Gaia and gave me this <laughs> <Wrestle focus>. alligators. <laughs> I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. Texas is pepper. So I know that Texas likes barbecue and ribs and steaks, like big. 16 ounce and 20 ounce steaks and stuff. I know they're quite um, known for that barbecue sauce and stuff. What are you looking at over there? 
The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. Don't really know what it is. I just find it interesting to find out, like... It will be able to make machines? Well, like, that obviously people will eat a variety yes. of foods, but, like, what their actual... Does like, over here, mean? perfect example, we love... We like haggis. But other people in other countries don't eat or have haggis. So that's like something that separates like Scotland. Because England doesn't really... I mean, there's people in England that do eat it right enough, but... Um, it's mainly people in Scotland. We also have a beverage over here, a fizzy beverage, a uh, fizzy drink. That's called Iron Brew. In England, you can't even get it in England. <laughs> it's so weird. So just things like that. That's what I like to find out. Like things that no, like no other place has. The Zen. Now that you know who the enemy is, Mel, you eat haggis. <laughs> have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. Haggis is actually just from the heavens. Sheep's and um, brains with spices. I That's really all it is. To you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. Yeah, I am brew. An interesting story about it was actually like made for the miners way back in the day. When coal used to get made. That's what it, the drink was made for that. Um, <laughs> when you actually look at it, it glows as if it's radiated. <laughs> it's so good, but... The Tanakh. Um, you and the Sky Clan. You said the bulwark was your home. But yeah, that's what Iron Brew was for. It was it was for the miners way back in the day. That's what they used to drink. I don't know if they use the same ingredient anymore. I think it was similar to like energy drinks these days. Where it gave them energy and all that. So I was raised by my squad. I don't think it's like that now. I think it's just jam packed with sugar. Like every other fizzy drink. A special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcome. Like, what is the hero. most um, popular fizzy drink that you have? Is it like Coca-Cola? Then why'd you leave? Coca-Cola and I Pepsi, Fanta, that sort of thing. Why did you become a marshal? Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Um, the wings of the Ten? When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Route. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings. And leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into Does the arena give you a during the COVID. No, Many it's a fizzy drink. I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. It's just like, like Coca-Cola. It must have inspired. It's actually better than Coca-Cola, but... Um... But yeah, it's just like your, your normal... It's just like getting Fanta or 7-Up or um, Pepsi pretty much just like that it's just a, a normal um, fizzy drink why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the cool route? I think you can get it in America but it's like in one of those stores that sells like European um, foods like um, Even if I wanted to. For instance, victory, I know that you get Hershey's, night, don't you? Takote We've got like Cabri. Said it would be selfish 
to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Okay, no problems. Well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile. Geist as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. Okay, Chief Hikaru? What did Chief Hikaru say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. Okay. Companions? What do you think of our squad? They seem eager to fight. Though I admit it is strange to see an Utaru in the ranks. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. She seemed pretty effective when she took out the machines that were guarding this base. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. Um, farewell? Feel free to check in on Hakaro and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the ten walk with you. Um, I fast traveled to this base, didn't I? How far is the main mission? Yeah, I did. Let's go and talk to Gaia. you have returned and I see you have recovered ether can I do yes, anything with this though afterwards I have a matter to discuss with you oh error drone feed disconnected error drone offline error data missing error I haven't collected any of these, so I don't think any... Yeah. I think you have to, like, land on them or... Do something in the air. I'm not sure. Because you can't shoot them, so... Maybe you have to just scan them. I didn't even think of that. I tried to shoot it. <laughs> okay, Gaia. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Ooh. Um. About your transmission? You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, 
And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Okay. Eluthia? Why would Eluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eluthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eluthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates pretending to be Eluthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could it be the Zenith? Could the Zenith be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them then. Okay, I'll investigate. Right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eluthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Good old Gaia. <laughs> Okay, can we upgrade? Outfit upgrades. No. Oh well. Can upgrade once. Weapon. So Hmm See that takes Stealth damage, hmm. Critical hat. See, this only has eight, eight arrows, though. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, let's go to stash. No? <laughs> okay. Fabrication. Oh, that's right. I forgot all about that. Hmm. I forgot you had to get components so that you're able to override them. Looks like someone's put some of my stuff in here. Aloy, oh, there's my stash. Resources. Let's take. Let's see if I can. Whatever I can take here, I'm just going to like take. So that I can like. Get stocked up. For ammuni ammunition. Okay. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. Wow, I can only craft two of those. But it's better than what we what we had. My old spear. Oh. Rust helped me make it. <laughs> spear from the first game? Training. Feels like so long ago now. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. <laughs> but since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here. Where it'll be safe. Okay, oh, let's head out. I think I can open that door now. Huh? Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Um, yeah, let's get let's going. Go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Uh oh. I'm not get one of those weapons. <laughs> what is that? What the hell? But she has like that arm. She has that armor that you just like, that you got in the first game. Takes the keg. <laughs> Burl, see if there's anything over there. On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. 
Well, there are obviously more Zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked what? like she could make it come Hello, and go. Hello, Verbena. Real. What do you have for me? It's gone now. I checked everywhere. Yeah. Still no sign of the asset. Well, go do your thing. Can we call off this point of search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results Inspector by nightfall. instructions to... Do you think you can manage that? recovery of the asset. Hold on. I think I see something. I this asset is. Okay. Oh. Um. You have to bring the old man next to a plate of food. Doing your good deed for today. Usable weapon? Um... What, do I have to like... Let's see what I can do with this! <laughs> um... Child weapon? Hmm. Every time I seem to get these big guns, um, I always have to like claim and all that. I never get to use them. Oh wait, examine corpse. I'm guessing maybe enemies will appear because there's. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons. Is there like guns down there? So I'm assuming it's for that. Ah. Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. You can tell though that this has been reshaped from the Proven. This was like the Proven area. Like when you got to the center you had enemies all around here. <laughs> there was enemies all up the top bit here, and then Looks we were like down at the bottom for a while. in the first game. Are they watching this area? All right, I think I have an idea what happened here. I, get I was wondering that. It's even though we're climbing up the the cliff here, I was like, this reminds me of the proving, because you had like a bit down here, and like in the first game you were standing here. So this is like, and you had to shoot people that were let, sitting up here. <laughs> so this is like a reused um, section of the first game. Oh wait a minute. I'm better off like grabbing this weight, man, I? Just in case. <laughs> okay. Right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that 
makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. Talk to Varl. Oh. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. It's probably that one of those chamber looking machines. I bet that's what it is. The asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right. Down the rabbit yeah. hole. <laughs> Aaron, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. I think this is the best paint for Aloy. You know? I really do. Makes her pop. Fully digging it. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Yeah, found nothing. its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Gaia gave you three gods to go to. Water, air. Probably like water, air, and fire. Like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Like Gaia's like nature, isn't she? So she's all like all about like greenness and um nature, like flowers and animals and. This was a far zenith research lab. All that stuff. Examine the transmitter. Who am I following now? I've what do you mean? I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. But then why were the Zenith still searching for it, the asset? Let's keep looking around. So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Um, I'm actually not sure. Cradle of Echoes. Search the facility for an asset. Search the facility. E1. <laughs> um, priority shaft. I always read those after stream. I always like sift through it all, so I get like an well, understanding on the story. Find anything that might Tell probably discovering amazing is. things. I don't think so. Am I good at the button stuff? Yeah. 
be the best presser in town. <laughs> Now, every time I like search these like chests, they're always like watches and come on an outfit and all that <laughs> upgrades. This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, how is I'm it actually surprised I'm doing okay with my controller because I don't really yeah. use controllers much. Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus, it's a lot. But when I caught up, I think it was I just couldn't be bothered to like change my key binds and all around. that well, for like the mouse that. and keyboard. That's I was sure. like, you know what, just plug in the controller. Huh. Plus, it's a PlayStation game anyway, isn't it? So. It's always going to play better using the controller, really. Like, if you take, like, a, an actual... Wait, can I open this? I used to no. that. Um, yeah, normally if you play, like, a normal game that's the been made console. for a PC and you plug to in a controller, sometimes it's, like, can wonky it and all that. But with this game oh, actually being, a, a, like, an original console game, it's going to work better with our controller. Because I've actually been playing pretty well. Like, the game actually runs... good. It's usually like Dark Soul games. Not all the time, right enough. Um, but usually like Dark Soul games are like controller-based sort of games. Racing games as well. But if it's like down to like shooting games, you always want to use a mouse and keyboard. Like games like Warzone or Valorant, Apex Legends, those types of games. Then you would really want to use a mouse and keyboard. Right is like a stick on on paddle. Right is like a stick on paddle, like console. Thirty-six containers in storage. Uh oh. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Two hundred and thirty-six. Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. Is he going to tell me? Yeah. I should check the log. Um. We should try and find one now. It's got. Hmm. Two thirty seven. Let's try two thirty seven. Two hundred and thirty six containers in storage. Please enter the container. There we go. Like a Twinkie.
Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Now, I don't know if she's like actually still alive or not, or if she actually has like a robot. Because in the first game, she was like apparently like she was dead. cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. Oh. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. Prepare for battle. I can't let it get through to Varl and the clone. When I need it. Here it comes. Oh. I haven't finished looting. Oh, wow. Ooh, ugly one, aren't you? Need to wake him up here. Oh wait, there's one down there as well. I should scan that thing. See if it doesn't I don't need to scan it. Wanna fight it? Rude? Do you mind? Rude? Ow. Ow. You've done it now. Ow. You're totally dead. <laughs> oh, I'm still alive. I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once oh, the coast hell. is clear. Oh, 
Just make sure I don't mess anything. Break my I've opened that. and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Well, if there's another one, let's use the spear this time. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Get this not. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Errand. Shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. Shield down. Alright, I thought you better than that. Where's this big gun? There was like three of them. Oh, a rabbit. Oi! Go over here. Have I ever Jeez. had to go to a formal speech? Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but um, right now I'm seeing double. No. Long story. But it'll have to wait. Have you? She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. <sighs> If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenas won't be so invincible after all. Not of medicines again. Oh, 
Oh, wow. It's the fastest rabbit I've ever seen. I've ever stood in front of a, ca a crowd. Yeah. There's snowflakes on my lashes. I had to do all that stuff in high school as well. Like stand in front of people and like say things. Read things out and all that as well. Examine the weapon. Right, I'm better off collect. Won't let me collect it. How much wood do you have? I've got plenty of wood. drama and public speech in high school well, yeah i think like everyone had to do it like stand in front of like a hall full of people and like read things out I need to get some people that felt it was twice. really embarrassing if we can replicate it Maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I was just like, get in there and just get it over with. Check on the clock. You know, like... Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Like, when it came to, like, high school, I used to always, like, want to, like, be the first person to do it. So that, um... Looks like I could just sit back and watch everyone stuff. else. But some people um, prefer to be like the very last person. That way, like, you know, it helps their nerves and all that. But I used to always like want to go first because if you like mess up and all that, um, by the time it gets to the, the end person, there's so many people that have went before you. Cause you're talking about like 60 people. So you're talking about like 60 people like having to read after you. So it's sort of like... Even if Glad you do you mess up okay. at the start, um, it's not all that bad because <laughs> there's so many people that mess up as well. And by the time it gets to the end, they forgot about you. <laughs> and it's always like the last person to mess up that gets remembered. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. Grades did I get? I just got, like, it's average fine. grades. Is it your injury? It's like the average pupil, so really. Withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. I mean, there was people brain here. The cerebellum goes into a kind of... Or I should say, could regurgitate no information else. better. Unreal. But I wouldn't say they were smarter. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. I can't believe she's alive. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Well, in fact, yeah. she's actually a, like Why a, are they here? She is a robot, they isn't she, really? You? But let's I thought maybe that, like, I'm guessing they faked the story the was going to turn out that years ago. Aloy finds her mother. seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, Smart with for technology. a hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster. I mean, there's people a lot better than me. Okay, so the descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. 
And now they want to clean well, I just, um, themselves, not their descendants. Try and improve all the what? time. Not I mean, I did. I done game design at college, thing. right enough. The same and binary left and all that. Thousand years ago, you didn't know. How can they still be alive? Which is an absolute look. pain. What did they do to themselves? And I know what we had to do. It was in unbelievable. Treatments and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're? I'm not like them. I was made on the way to Earth. It's like I say all the time, and that you have to like make sure, like you're studying in my training interface. So that I could see You're constantly function. improving yourself in all different areas system. in life. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. Hmm. Zenith plan for air? So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Guy and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... In fact, I'll give you a perfect example, the Laurie. We encountered. There was um, a student that was in my school and he was like super us. brainy. Like... I concluded that they must want a hard he always knew like the, the correct answer and all that. It to be exactly but, like, he's an okay... Um, for their own comfort. He's okay, there's Who nothing like wrong with him or anything like that, I didn't, like, people used to make fun of him, but I didn't. Um, but he got, like, A's and all that in school, and, um, now he's a bus driver. <laughs> Pretty insane, isn't it? Like, this dude got all A's in school and he's a bus driver. Um, you're rolling Zenith plan. The needed Elizabeth's gene print to access the so I don't think like getting good grades or even like high grades in school don't mean nothing. Trained you. I just call you it like went along with it. high regurgitation. Someone that can like look at something, system. remember it, and we regurgitate it. I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her. But if you to put them in like. When I started to realize I wasn't meant in the Amazon and tell them to survive, they must have made me they'd scratch their head. So they they wouldn't have a clue what to do. To do. That's crazy. As it's true, it's true, it's true story as well. The dude's like got all A's. <laughs> he got all A's at school. The guy was like super brainy. Well, wasn't well, not brainy. He was um super, super regurgitator. But now he drives buses. <laughs> dude drives a bus. Extinction signal. So you know about the extinction signal. It was speculation, but the only logic. And I'm not like being fun of him or anything like that, you know. And um, for centuries. You know, guys. Um, only he drives. He's. Course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth. Um, that was more dangerous. I don't know if he has like a, a girlfriend or a woman or anything like that. Realize that she would but, also order the recreation. Yeah, it's quite crazy so to think good. that you get all A's in school. Yeah, You'd well, expect them to be like at was. Harvard or, you know, some. Science or you know, a really high end job. Nothing. Sits in a bus. About Zenith. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one Life who is math. To set up a base. <laughs> But when do you actually really use math, though, when you think about it? Like, when you go for, like, most jobs or even working jobs, you don't use numbers, really. You only need numbers to know, like, if you're an employer or if you're employing people. Um, the only time you need to know numbers is um, paying your taxes and all that. Or if you work in a shop or something. Well, you don't really actually use math. Not really. Um, because it's not like when you go for a job interview, you're like, I am, I am good for this job because, um, two plus two is four. You know, like, it just, it doesn't exist. Zenith you base. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield. What cannot thing? Tell the local fauna. I'm 
I'm certain they have other security measures. No, you should think before you up. Worse, it, <laughs> it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials. Save your thinking for needed. life, not stress. More zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You save your thinking for life, not stress. But if you think, you won't have stress. Zenith colony. You said the Zenith colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. I guess they survived. If you shovel too. shit, be good at it. <laughs> Or, get a plower. And don't get your hands dirty. You're escaping. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run. I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. Opportunity to escape. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Luthia. What did you do exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed outside the facility. But Bane is dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. Um... Your origins? You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing. The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. She's got that the Elon jet. The one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. Um, I also seen a thing that um, a few days ago as well. See, like over um, in China, like they have electrical cars, and um, like everyone knows that Elon is like a billionaire, um, and he's like he obviously brought out electrical cars, um, but over in China, you can like go in just like a mechanic, go in to a garage. And get your battery changed in two minutes, but Elon, um, he decided to try and put electric pumps everywhere and make people sit for hours to charge the car. Now you tell me who's bright. I don't think he's bright at all. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. I really don't think he's bright at all. Archive you mentioned. I think he's pretty stupid. <laughs> To be honest, all that money and you can't even access. like Aristotle create something that's the decent. Of the archive would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names—they were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy, so it still exists, and you got to learn from it. If only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach. And I actually don't have anything against Elon at all. I don't even know the guy, but like, it's not the brightest mindset, is it, when you think about it? 
Like, if you're going to create cars and want everyone to buy it, don't make them sit at a pump for half an hour to an hour to charge their car that only does, what, 100 miles top? Whereas China, um, they've got cars that can go 800 miles and then takes two minutes to change the battery for another 800 miles. I don't know. I just, I don't think it's, um, bright. Personal opinion. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or, so how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions. That's pretty Gaius true, actually. To absorb Hephaestus. What? It's like, you don't people are not that bright already? that they think I'm he's bright. Figuring out how to capture it. It's not That's kind of to true. To a single location, of course not. You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. Because the guy's a bowling there, isn't he? Like, the guy's, like, Come one of the richest mistake. guys. I mean, They're gonna find me. he's got, like, satellites and all that. And take me back. But he can't even this all for nothing. They're not going create to a, a battery to mask our location. that can, what like, be changed. You're too far behind. We're never going to Because if you really think everything. about it, Everyone. right now, with petrol and hey. diesel cars, you go to the pump, it takes two minutes to fill your car up. You're here now, right? Now... To go to your charging so station, you help? it's not taking two minutes. It's taking so half an hour to an hour to charge your car. Your and you're only problems. getting 100 to and 200 miles if you're lucky. Geoengineering, of course. So, Computer science, I mean, come on. Biology, That's not bright. Okay. Well, it really isn't. See if you can do and I, I don't like know the guy. I don't have anything against them. I just, later. you know. Um, I think he's just got too much money that he's created a chat and put it in his own head and Her injury's not that bad. he thinks he's I, think she regrets coming I don't here. know bright feeling might be mutual I think he's like a one watt bulb I'll come back later and talk to her <laughs> see if I can learn anything one watt I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia but anyway that's just a personal opinion and plus no one's even buying Buying electric cars as well. Not really. Do you like hearing me butcher and talk? I sure don't. You sound like a dying long leg. I digress. <laughs> I mean, if you look at, like, um, Jeff Bestos, look at that guy. He's, like, Welcome back. he's got a company that, like, literally is putting every retail company out of business. That's smart, you know? The high street shops are shutting down because everyone's going to Amazon. Not everyone's going to electrical cars. <laughs> Think about it. Doesn't make sense. Hey, I see we Personal have opinion. Guess. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced. Comparable to I mean, I totally get, like, the concept, like, carbon monoxide and, and all that. Did the explosion but, the data? um, it was only a catalyst. The trees give off carbon monoxide. A command like, <laughs> or it actually soaks up carbon explode. monoxide, so... This was to prevent um, the weapon secrets from falling into enemy hands. Yeah. Cut down all the trees and then there's this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Nothing but carbon monoxide. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. 
It's about like money. Like That's money is made of like paper, it's isn't it? Well, along with Artemis and Apollo. It's like mix, mix between paper and However, like a our original plan thin plastic sort of. The two remaining subordinate functions. But they cut trees down and then make it into like money and paper and pencils and Hephaestus. all that carry on. Right. One problem at a time. And then the, the say or oh, global warming. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. I don't know. Right. Um It's none of my business. Thanks, so I guess we won't be making use of silence. I just weapon. don't and now there is. I just don't think his um cars are going to last very long, to be honest. I can't let it distract me. Because why would you want to go out and spend eighty thousand to a hundred to even five hundred thousand for an electrical car? Which you don't drive, by the way, you just sit there. Um like why would you do that? The whole idea of getting a car is to drive it, not to sit in it. Um yeah. I don't know. Each to their own, I suppose. But I don't think he's bright. I think he's as bright as a one watt bulb. Personal opinion. You always have to like state that, you know. Cover your ass. <laughs> so you don't get sued. Don't want done for um done for what do you call it? Um, mis mischaracterization. I see you, um. Sit, please. Oh, a rumor. A few days ago, I came across a massive bloom of flowers east of the grove. Old Dorica was out there, too. I offered to escort her back to Scalding Spear, but she refused. She's an accomplished soldier, to be sure. But her spear isn't as sharp as it used to be. If you get my meaning. If I'm out there, I'll keep an eye out for her. And bloom. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. Frosty. Geared up for battle. Always a smart choice. I'll have this for this soon enough. <laughs> They'll make you by not insuring the gas cars. Yeah, I mean, obviously, everything will go to electrical at some point, but hey, like, if you're in need of provisions, I recommend stopping by salt he's got so much money basically that he's just flapping around. Just it's about like, like giving else. um. You can grab like a two-year-old or a four-year-old, give them a, a piece of paper and a pencil and say like, create something. Like they would come out with something like that. Like it just, there's no thinking behind it. Like, you would think as being a billionaire, he would um, have shops every, he probably actually will start doing this. Um, just listening in. <laughs> He's listening in. But you would think he would like have shops everywhere. Like call it like, I don't know, auto test or something. Test auto. Test auto, there you go, test auto. Cause you don't have to drive the fucking thing. You just sit in it. It's automatic. It's not manual. You call it test auto. And then um, you just go around there and you take your, your fancy Tesla and you drive it in with your mobile phone. And then um, change the battery for you. Well, not Elon. He um, he wants you to um, sit for half an hour to an hour to charge your car. And then um, let it drive for you. Take you where you have to go. I mean, if that, if that's not bright, I don't know what is. I know I wouldn't be doing that if I had billions of pounds in the bank. Personal opinion. I 
should actually like put a little see like a cutscene. <laughs> so whenever I say something, I just press the button and it comes up saying, "This is a disclaimer." Um, you know, like the whole disclaimer stuff. Because um, people like to sue these days, don't they? But if you actually say like this is a personal opinion, which means I'm not actually trying to like manipulate anyone or change people mindset, I'm stating it's my own belief. And I have the right to have my own belief. <laughs> you have to keep yourself safe, you know? These things happen in society. I'm not getting worked up. I see one that's working. Yeah. I'm just having fun. Living my life. In prosperity. Check free. <laughs> that girl was wound up tighter than a twisted camp. spring. <laughs> she didn't have yeah, to hit check me. it out. Manda? Now she's in the wilds, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? Never got her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. <laughs> That's what it's Which all about. It's all about having fun, isn't it? Sir? Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. You have to have fun. I wonder what else so serious these days, isn't it? It's not healthy. Oh, it's got a rumor. I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit these days. Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful of. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. Spotted one just west of here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. They even set up camp in the south. Really helps a fellow sleep at night. Just make sure you steer clear of them. Tanakh are bad business. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out. Imagine if I say this in front of like thousands of people. Oh my god. I'd end up getting like banned on everything. All the platforms and all that. Just for being myself. Borgo? Are you lost? Spark to steal. Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. Ha <laughs> ha! The savior. My savior. Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman. Chief Delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine Delver. What am I saving you from? <laughs> I should say, uh, tell the tales tales like as... See, this grand nah, expedition okay. here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. I wouldn't even dream. To follow right after. I'm coming up with something that stupid. Up, shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of them was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed died with his eyes wide he did got the rest of the crew spooked they're refusing to press on with the delve until they're short a way out of here you lost half your crew and you're worried about the delve we got to make their sacrifice worth something right and besides now that you're here maybe our sand stranded days are over help me get that tunnel reopened and i'll cut you in on the delver's fee what do you say um Tell me about this area. What do you know about this area? Well, north of here you got those vicious Tanakh. I heard rumor they drink blood instead of water. 
That's how they survived this wasteland. In South, it has it all. Death, desert, and the delve. Imagine, if you will, a vast grave of the old ones. Ruins of twisted metal concealed by the sands. All guarded by machines. So fierce that you'll wish you had a flock of glint hawks swooping down on you instead. Not even the Tanakh venture into the ruin's depths. Only the bravest explorers dare enter. Like yourself? Of course! But, like, realistically, if you think about it, if you've got so much money like that, then obviously you're going to, like, just, you know, think of, like, stupid things and, you know, do it, because you've got the money, you know what I mean? Like I said, I don't even know Elon. I don't have anything against them neither, but... Well, like, everyone's praising him like some... Some hero. I don't think he is. How did you learn about this secret tunnel? The art of the delve, of course. A delve is only as good as his nose sense for good sights. I'm, and I'm pretty sure he does good things, right, you know. Bye. I'm not saying he's a bad person I either. Ostrom, like I said, I don't know him. But he's certainly not brainy. The of the he's West. definitely not that. So then I may have employed someone with the know-how for finding and following. A spy. Look, if the rumors are true, there's enough delving to employ a dozen operations. But someone has to take the first plunge, establish a base camp, set up a reliable supply route, guard the site against machines. Figures the Osram would turn sand into shards, I guess. Exactly. Um, this camp? So this camp, it's your base of operations? What operations? The plan was to move further south once the rest of the expedition joined us. The delve is right out beyond those dunes. But now the crew refuses to budge until this tunnel mess gets sorted out. They've even given this place a name. Camp Nowhere. I think they're mocking me. Yeah. I think they are. The tunnel? I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. <laughs> My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand carved by my dear old ma. Solar panels? I'd appreciate it. They just still collect electricity, don't they? Energy from the sun. Like, everything around you is electricity. Your body actually feeds off electricity. Electricity's free. <laughs> like, you do know that, don't you? Obviously they charge you for electricity, but electricity's actually free. Your body actually runs off electricity. But they, they're not going to tell you that. Because then they make money. Make them wealthy. Make them rich. But, like, you can actually, like... <laughs> electricity... There's, electricity will never run out. Electricity is, li like, literally... What your body runs off of. Really. Stop looking already. Tartarian. Barbarian! Tartarian. That's why I don't, um, wear boxers. I don't want to end up like Navalny. You know? Start putting shit in your pants and all that. <laughs> no, but like, realistically though, like, electricity is absolutely free. Like, it's everywhere. It's like, they charge you for it. Quite hilarious, actually, when you think about it. Just goes to show you society. <clears throat> You'll never meet a nice, rich person. Ever. You'll never meet one. Because to become rich, you have to Guys, fuck so people over. Poseidon, you have to manipulate people to become rich. So you'll never actually find a good 
decent rich person. That's true. I might be able to find a way down. Okay, well you calm down. <laughs> Okay, let's do uh, like another main mission. Oh, level 22. Am I right at it? The Sea of Sands. <gasps> the Sea of Sands. Oh, it's a chicken! Oh. I've got solar panels and you have to... You get solar panels and you have to tie water van. You look edible. 240 valve inverter to run electrical panels too. Create your own electricity piers. How much did it cost you? Couple of thousand. Couple of thousand to get your own um, solar panels. Even though electricity is free. Like I said, I just like playing video games. Video game death. Maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die. You can have Uncle alone, Joe. Because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. Oh, what was that? Well, it's not, it's not George. Jo <laughs> Johnny Bravo. So the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life? Or succumb to deadly delusion. <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um, well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Uh -oh. That's pretty we know smart. That. <laughs> we know what happened to the last person who went down in the water with one of those. inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a No, like electricity is like hammer and tongs. What is this? What it's free as in like it's okay. it will never run out. She's a stranger. You got a name? Like Hey Lloyd. Moreland. Why do you think have you ever like a stranger anymore? And put a clo um, put your clothes in a tumble dryer? Come on. I got the original schematics or, over here. I don't know what you call it in oh, America. Um, but a dryer to well, dry your on. clothes. Have you ever had like touched first. it Fair once enough. it's like as soon as it's finished Warner. and you open the door Warner. and you touch your clothes and it gives you an electric shock? Don't mind him. Advanced solar system is about 500. It's actually like free. Like to produce, it's like everywhere. 
how do you think dolphins and whales and all that they even go off like electricity they they actually emit electricity underwater why are you here what's so important down there that you'd risk your life uh, uh well <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but... But, but, with the proper spark, these magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. No, what I'm trying to say, Piers, is that, like, electricity is actually, it, it's, it's everywhere. It's like, they've took something that's, it's like air. Electricity is like air. It's that prominent, but they charge you for it, but it's actually free. It's like someone coming over to your house and saying, right, Piers, um, give me £200 and I'll give you a month supply of oxygen. That's the exact same concept. If you think about it. If someone had to come over to your house right now and say, Right, Piers, um, we're going to give you a month supply of oxygen. If you don't give us this money, you'll die because you don't have oxygen. Even though oxygen is everywhere. It's the same thing. Dolphins get a lot of food to power their bodies. No, that's powering organs. That's organs. But you still emit electricity. Like, see when you stand and you like in front of someone, they can actually like feel, they can sense your energy. It's called energy for a reason. Because you're emitting electricity. From your body. Grandfather. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty odd years ago. He he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He How else do you think you get electric shock? The of this very structure, he found the hollow you can get an electric shock, like you can get struck by lightning. How can you get struck by lightning if your body doesn't emit electricity? Think about it, come on. Wow. Never scraped up the shards. Big Elon's got to put that chip in your brain. To was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true delver, and a true showman. And I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers, and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. Um, what happened? So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite no, a I don't power actually, my house for free. So right. But electricity is... It can happened? be free. At the bottom. But... We beheld the people decided years and years ago, Paint centuries ago, let's charge for it. Dancing women, Someone games, found electricity, coins, created like the bulb and all that. Pots. I don't know what that is, and but it's gotta decided, be wait a minute, instead of it being yeah. shared or being free to Don't everyone, be let's charge them for it. The images turned nautical. It's the same the thing. It's like going outside fish. and like a 
it's putting a seed in the ground and it grows a tomato or it grows a potato or it grows an apple. You take the apple from the tree. Yes. It's growing here on the earth naturally. Suddenly there's you know, you didn't have to put a pound, you didn't have to put a dollar or put any money in the ground and then it produces a, an apple. You put a seed in the ground, it grows, you take the apple and you ask something for that apple. It's the same thing. It doesn't cost anything for an apple to grow, it just naturally grows. Just like electricity is natural as well. Just like oxygen's natural. Obviously it uses like animals to produce it because there's a whole ecosystem. So bees will go out, they'll clean flowers because basically pollen is essentially um, like if you go to the toilet you don't wipe your bum then you've got poo all over your bum that gets crusty and it blocks your bum hole. It's the same with flowers when it comes to pollen. So the bees go out, they clean the pollen and then the flowers produce oxygen and then you breathe that oxygen. Explosion of water. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark 1 and Mark 2. It's like a fire is a perfect example as well. Each, but I like it causes two, two separate... Um, but I can't give up now. Can't think of the word right now, but... Too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. It's essentially two separate components that collide and it causes a spark, which aka electricity. And then the spark causes like the electricity is one part and then the fuel's the second. So when electricity hits something like, I can't remember the name of it, but when electricity hits something else, it causes a flame. And then you get fire. I don't know, I feel like I'm so these embers a teacher right now or something. <laughs> just trying to play video games. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. Beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Well, the reason you can't do that, Pierce, is because the components it takes to produce electricity, cried the day it gets charged for. So you can't, even if you wanted to. Why do you think they're selling you solar panels? If you get down there like I did, why do you think it cost you money to, to be able to produce your own electricity? You can already produce your own electricity, but it costs you money to buy the components to do it. I'm kind of confused what you're trying to say, to be honest. You try to tell me electricity is not free, but if there wasn't any money in the world, then you would still have electricity. I don't, I, I'm, I can't understand what you're trying to say, your friends. You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all, we're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks and Abaddund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all.
Can't I swim down? How deep is it? Can't I just need a race beneath If you have gills, you can stack fifty kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence our new invention. I'll get the parts. I better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. Uh oh, we're going back so in the water. Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Is this actually main story? Or is? Gather the machine parts. A human carrier of electricity. Do, do you want to know another true fact as well? Only peers will really know this though. How do you think Sperum shoots out of testicles? This place. Well, good thing that Aloy showed up. I know. Incredible. Your body produces electricity. Behave. Oh no! I'm gonna drown. I've done it now. <laughs> the world to live and survive. Use cleanse potions. Cleanse yourself. According to Moreland, and water. It should be south of here. Wait, what happened? Oh, what's it going to be back in again? Rude. I've been rebooted. I need a software update. Oh wait a minute, I'm going all the way down the bottom, I don't even have to. Let's go back up to the top. Oh wow. Swim me away. I thought we were finally going to get away from this place. Under the sea. Under the sea. There's no place better. When it is wetter, under the sea. Got the compressed air capsule. Now. I gave it to him? Probably get a oh, guest list of 50. <laughs> so, we need. Do I get your dinner? At least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Mm. Uh, no, no. For him, scrappers up. What are you going to have for your dinner? Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. Well, what should we do with that pen? We were gonna move on. That's one of those old pens. Leave all this Remember the old pen? It would be like really pointy. Come along. Uh, you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. Uh, I've heard that before. Or you can trade. Moreland? So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was, it was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. The man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me, 
to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, a dream has to die. Morlin's dream. This dream of Morlin's is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, a premium ale, the works. Morland will do his, his light spectacle thing. Uh, Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> It's a nice thought, anyway. I don't know why you need electri electricity after the fallout. True. Moreland Very true. mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> but with all the like components and accessories and all that, I wouldn't be able to like collect it all anyway because my stash would get full. Mostly, we go town to town. So I wouldn't be able to. Eat. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales. Be able to do it anyway. Spectacle. Yeah, yeah. Morland's got the technical know-how. <laughs> Loads of those. Uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, <laughs> cannons that that. that Shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? No, they don't. The Dell? So Moreland was down in this ancient city. And I wonder why he has like for trade. Went down below. You? I can delve too. Right. And uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in. We ran. And Moreland built that blasted thing. He nearly got himself drowned twice. He you want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. Okay. What do you have for I'm trade? I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. Ooh. Bolt blaster. Hmm. Adhesive warrior bow. Okay, what's that? Ah. Kind of out of that. Resonator build up. One, two, three, four. Does my one have five? I'll leave you alone. I think it does, Do doesn't it? Leave us all alone. Four. Okay. So that one's actually better. One word, flat earth. <laughs> Not being coaxed into any more answers. I'm saying nothing until my lawyer arrives. No comment. <laughs> Um, so, what do I have to do? 
unknown campfire. Go to the machine herd. <gasps> There's one of those drones. Do you have to scan these? Drone. Oh. Must be part of so you do. You just scan them. If okay. I can, data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. Beep boop. Let me get up there. Beep boop. Start back up and everything again. said the herd would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look. No, you, uh, you just have to um, scan them. I actually thought you had to shoot them to begin with, and um, they've got like a shield on them. Then maybe I thought it was like Batman Arkham Knight. Maybe like have to go up high and then like fly over and jump on them but you just scan them <gasps> I need this for an upgrade you have to catch them <laughs> you jump on them I don't know, it's just for Gaia's thing anyway. I don't think it really means much. I don't know really what it does. I think it's just like, um... I don't know. Um, how far am I? Oh, so it's inside here. Sets for tracks. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. The herd. I'm not going to shoot those birds because you only get meat from them. I think it's particular birds you have to shoot. To get like feathers. There's the herd. Oh. I should have the parts I need. More machines. Down. Are you want some too? Not a problem. <laughs> oh, we got a big boy out now. I'm 
Nice day. Oh, you want some? What a problem. There we go, I got a little gift for you. <laughs> Have a nice day. The kneecap. Good. I should have all the parts to build this thing now. Better get back to Moreland. There. Oh, the job's a goodie. Slipped up a sand spiral. Great. Get stocked up again. Actually, hit me. Come on over. There you go. <laughs> Well, berries again. I should have got my arrows on. <laughs> to jump onto that drone to get it down. Oh, return to Moreland. I'm not actually going to like go all the way up there just to jump on a drone. Want to do some story? Done plenty of side stuff today. What can I do for you, partner? A 
got the parts. I've got everything I need to build the... Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. The incredible diving mask? Poolcaster, an improved version of Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects. Oh, wait. Yeah. Diving mask, a special breathing apparatus that enables diving to extreme depths. It's a bloody respirator, isn't it? Right there. Don't mind if I do it. Whoa. There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. For a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay, time to see. Okay, we've got a respirator works. now. Okay, before we test it out, give me a second, so I have to quickly run to the restroom. Um, yeah, I'll be back in um, two. Later. I thought we were finally going to get away from this place. Well, there we go. So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. <laughs> the trauma's gone. No more PTSD. Oh, we even got a light as well. The mask seems to be holding up. Never been able to swim this deep before. <laughs> well, this looks cool, doesn't it? It'd been a lot bit better if they made it like more like bane looking. Like it covers instead of having like two tubes at the side, just have it like 
Schau, wo das Fee ist. Uh. You never really find anything like really good in those. It started right here, more than 30 years ago. Driving's easier now. Back when this casino was still called the Temple. One big day. Wait till you want to break around. one day and you realize you can. Fate's dealt a screwless hand ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time. And the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Whoa! that thing underwater. Oh wow! Oh water scene. Under the sea. Under the sea. There's no place better. There's no place wetter than under the sea. Poseidon? Aquaman? <laughs> Wait, do I have to like attack this? I kind of don't want to. Let's just head to the objective. Like this chest. Watch me get this chest. <laughs> Wait. It's, it's like swimming on the other side. What the? I don't think I can shoot it. Investigate the red light. Not a problem. Alert. Critical flooding detected. Alert. I do this purge 
can do Critical all the work. Detected. I can fight that big machine. Automatic like drainage that. controls offline. Of course, I have to reset a couple of pump nodes. Manual reset of primary and secondary According pump map, nodes is required. There should be an access point the that purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance here. station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Oh wow, but actually going to drain this water? According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. A whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. I can't reach the ledge from here. I know something I can climb to get out. Using in this warm water. What in the law did he lie? Valve. Drain the water. One node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Return to the sunken city. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing around. No, is that axe? No, there's nothing down there. According to the map, the second node should be on the other side of the dome. I feel like a little mermaid.
use of this. <laughs> Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Taking care of both nodes. Mm -hmm. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. Not a problem. It's always good to have extra. should be at the south end of the dome. There's red light in that tower. Just like at the console I found earlier. That might be the maintenance station. But how to get in? <laughs> Looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. <laughs> like this green shine is such a price. now I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge right this door open then <laughs> to be back on land. That did it. <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. Once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Mm -hmm. I guess the 
purged and get rid of all of the water. <sighs> Those cars will swim. Use these machines. Purge left these machines. Oi! Yay! Oh, thank you, like, do that. You gotta do that on that. <laughs>
one down here, big boy. <laughs> Everything's purple. That actually looks really nice down here, you know? Look at that. It's all um, vibrant. Going down. Okay. Poseidon is through there. But where did that machine go? Aloy! It's a miracle! this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. There's a whale! Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our Delph. Okay, then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. You've done it now. I want to fight it. I'll probably die, but I don't care. I think it wants you to um, sneak past it. I kind of want to fight it though. Is that what it wants you to do? Oh, I need to kill it. Okay. Oh shit.
same. Is that anything?
let's change. Beat me a normal ball. <laughs> Let's go.
<laughs> Interesting. So it likes to throw water, so... Fuck, the game's like dragging me into it. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm stuck. What the fuck is this bullshit right now? Is that not doing anything? I'm confused. I'm dead. Probably placed the bomb. game gets so much bullshit sometimes. <laughs> the fuck are you supposed to do there? <laughs>
the fuck? Get that fucking desk off your back! What the fuck? No. No. That you've done it now. Hmm, a little skinny dead. Oh, no. Don't do that. That's weird. <laughs> You've done it now. You big ugly. Ugly chap. Oh. Ow. <laughs> You've done it now. Get that big disc off your back. Alright, next idea. Zero heals to like a boss. You guys all right? More than all right. This you we did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very uh heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know. Grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revelin'. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. <laughs> Need health though. Oh, there we go. Many days later, for sure. A gift from the gods. <laughs> Can 
I used my resources, but... Let's go back to... This bow. There you go. Oh, what's this? The first of many marvels. And he carried the precious treasure. A mighty warrior. Well, he carries the eternal spark of hope. Right. But also, the first of many dividends. Oh, it's this door over here. Like, I'm not even that bored about that data thing up there. Exciting should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. Poseidon! Where are you hiding, Poseidon? Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. Poseidon. <laughs> there. I should be able to use that console. Data. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Back to Gaia. Back to Gaia. Oh, it's only like 200 away? Like what? I thought it was like a lot further. I saw it's got two parts now for Gaia. The London crew must have headed back up town. Gaia? Oh, she's farther off, actually. Gaia, I have returned with your component. I'm bringing Gaia back to life. No one must have built this before the place flooded. Might still work. Be nice not to have to climb back up. Good old stretch. <laughs> Upgrading your gear at workbench. Upgrade! Whatever she did, she must have powered up 
the whole city. Okay. What are you going to say? How much did all this cost? A city bag. Ah, ah! Show my old Gramps always wanted. There's another. Whoa! It's a dragon. His dream realized. His old Gramps' legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Empress back in the claim. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Yeah, don't forget. Games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I am. Um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them. Awesome. You now I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that awesome Tinker who's out on her own. Okay, can we actually like, fast travel? Yep. Gaia! I have Poseidon for you. Oh, another runner. Mm. Oh, let's pick I him. Sit, <laughs> choosing the right rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your life out in the wilds, go northwest to Salt Bite. The cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to knock or not. I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. The taste the victory. Keep your eyes open out there, soldier. Like, way open. Gaia, I have Poseidon. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Mm hmm. Right here. Can you come 
downstairs. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Oh, I'm going to talk to Gaia. I have my... Any skill points? Ooh, 10. Come back complete. Warriors Vigor. Got it. I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's not. Ah, oh, it's from the first game. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me. While you were gone. I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda, you saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean it was beautiful mm -hmm. she showed me paintings books media files we met there in secret many times but a few months later it stopped can you tell us why beta I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Found it? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. Data channel? You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. The house? 
So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. Paintings and files? You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. Hmm. Cut you off? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! Okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Mm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Oh well. What a fun story. Totally intrigued on what happens next. We did a lot of side content today. Did a lot of um. Funny how. We stuck up. Actually. In fact, that's not the stock, but is it? I'd rip those things to shreds in a fight. Oh wait. Guess they didn't move around as much. Do I have to like go around here? So. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. Hmm. You're training? What do you have to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the... 
data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. Hmm. The Zenith? Did Gaia tell you anything about Zenith? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... Humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking. That such life should be bent on destroying ours. Hmm. Companions? You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. The land gods? You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Oh, that's great. Maybe. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then... Use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. Um, there's actually more options. You're training? We've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system nurture them like the land gods do plain songs fields it does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal okay you what else have you been up to i've been studying gaia's seedlings the subfunctions i wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to fa imagine my surprise when i looked into this Hephaestus, and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. You're training? Anything else coming through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently, there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them, even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo, that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. Is there actually more? You're training? What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from. Like you've done here, for us. Maybe one day, more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. Okay. Zenith? She a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. Companions? So you've been talking to Gaia. Yes, she was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but 
Reborn? N not that I claim to understand how. Companions? Said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. Companions? Are you guys training with Aaron as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. Are you serious? Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. Companions? Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I'd like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. You Utaru? Your neighbor? So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. Um, you and Nikoris? I need to ask, what's the deal with you and Nikoris? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. Hmm. Casualties from the Red Raids. It's been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but there weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. 
I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties. Sabotage their supply lines and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. Baron Light? You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... ...not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled... ...I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to plain song. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. What's a grave singer? You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort. And sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. Hmm. Good well. Going. Good luck on your search. Oh, when you say quest. Oh, wait, there's actually a lot bench in here. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Oh. I can't read it though. So this hmm. is the best. He's like uh, Gaia's own personal blacksmith. Oh no, he wants to play that game. A very angry one. As like my uncle Laurent. Man didn't smile a day in his life and would box your ears if you messed with his porch. Can we upgrade? Hmm, no, not really. Why not? Knockdown power? 
Um, I think that's everything in here, isn't it? Back out in the wild. <laughs> Three thousand away. What the? Hmm. Should I just been going to this campfire and save, and then. Get one shot at what? I need to start using melee when I do that. Wow, well, you're still sleep deprived. Yeah, I probably won't stream tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. But I may actually. I kind of want to get this game um, like advanced because the game's so big. Um. Kinda have to like try and um, get it done. Game super fun though. Not gonna lie. Wait, what's up here? Oh, go on, Eloy. There you go. It's actually been um, another long stream today. Nearly 10 hours. Did a lot of like side missions though to begin with. Yeah, 100 hours. It is around about that. If you're doing all the side content right now. But the side content, none of it has um, been the same, so I think that's why I keep doing it. I think if it was always the same, I would have gave up by now. <laughs> like, and just done the story. But, yeah, the game's quite interesting. Oh, another rumour. Sit with me, Outlander. I've got something to tell you. <laughs> this woman's always got something to say, hasn't she? What rumour do you got now? I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. There's a place there where the ground is made of metal. Don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Be wary. Appreciate the warning. That's two now. Guy and now this woman. When there's a cauldron, there's machine overrides. Oh, huh? Save. <laughs> Peddler, beam wire, not enemies. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Ice storm. What can I sell? Do you know what? Hmm. I don't know what to sell actually. 
Hmm. You know what? I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell this. Does that mean it's going to take that look away though? I don't think it will, will it? Do I have enough for this purple? I do. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go for this purple bow. You can make yourself stand up. Oh wait, he does outfits. Oh no! Oh wait, I've got a purple. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. Low health range. Energized. Hmm. Well, it does 16. It's got a 16 on it. So, it's not too bad. But, we got a purple outfit. A purple bow. I've used the rope caster yet. Yeah, I used it earlier, Piers. Um, I kind of need like a blue one or a purple one because the big machines, it takes like so long to get them down. It takes like 13, 12 to 13 rope casting. So like one, two, three, all the way up to like 12 or 13. Whereas if you get a blue or maybe a purple, Maybe like seven or eight. But yeah, it's like just so long to like do this all the time. And you have to like do this to like fully um thing me it before you can place it, so yeah. I think I'm gonna wait. I accidentally actually bought Where is it? I bought a blue uh I bought a blue Where is it? Yeah. Canister Ropester? Not a big fan. Essentially what you have to do with this one is, um... In fact, let me show you. It's pretty bad, really, when you think about it. Well, it's not bad, but... You've got, like, these three here. You get the Frost, the Shock, and the Fire. So you select it. You shoot it at an enemy. It hangs on to them. Then apparently you're supposed to like shoot it. And it like causes small damage over a period of time. Or maybe you have to wait. Let's see actually. Let's do a, a frost one. And we'll shoot it with a frost arrow. So you do that and it like Whoa! <laughs> does that, but, yeah. Oh, you're giving me that back? Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Very generous. Um, so yeah. Well, I'm absolutely going through everything. But at least we've got a purple, um, hunter bow now. Maybe we can upgrade it as well. These, um, blast the spear things are really good. But, like, shooting those during combat... Like, it seems easy, but, yeah. Um, they seem okay, though. I tried to use it on... What was the name of that? That fight? It was, like, a big, massive... Uh, it wasn't the turtle one that I just did. 20 minutes ago. It was earlier on the stream. I thought like this big massive like it was ripping through everything. It was like a big turtle. Um, and I tried to do it but it wasn't working. I think it's because I was using normal arrows instead of the these ones, the frost ones. But I thought that was the, ro uh, the rope caster but it wasn't. It's still a good um, weapon, don't get me wrong but it's for like, um, if you're doing a, a frost, a fire, a shock and a fire build, 
then you just have a bow that has like shock and fire and etc etc so um i think overall like mixing things up it's been pretty good overall do i have any skill points no we've pretty much done this um this tree apart from like the arrows i think i might pick them up though because um they'll use up a lot more resources right enough but i think they'll be like pretty decent overall really when you think about it but i've only got like these two two left and this one in the center we fully upgraded um our warrior so our spear and bow damage is 100 we get health gained by basically shooting as long as we use the the warrior bow though which i don't think i have one do i where is my warrior bow i am sure i've got one maybe i just sold it there no, I didn't sell any bows, did I? Frost. There you go. The warrior bow here. So if I use these, they'll give me small health back just by hitting the enemy, which is not too bad. Um, is that how that works, actually? Let me double check. Bolster your resolve and deal more damage with your spear and warrior bows. Gain health from damage dealt with either weapon type. So the spear or the warrior bow. Spear and warrior bow. You got 100% damage added on. Health gained. 10%. Heal 50% of maximum health when triggering a resonator blast. With the bow. So as long as I have this warrior, like for instance... If I've got this on, and I decide to do this, I get the resonator, and I use the warrior bow, and hit them, then I get 10% health. So, yeah, not too bad, really, to be honest. It's all about really setting up your own build, isn't it? Really, when you think about it. Um, but I did create a lot of side content for maybe 6 hours? five hours maybe i think i did five or six hours of side content today and then the rest was um story because i'm on the seeds of the past which i don't think is that far in maybe seven or eight i think um i still got all these side ones to do but i mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've only done eight side quests. One, two, three, four, five. Five errands. I've only I don't I've not I've not done them. I've done one pit. I know that. I haven't done the arena. I haven't done any cauldrons. I tried to do a cauldron, but um there was nothing there to activate it, so I guess I was just it's probably the this one level twenty two. Well, we've got level eighteen. We can actually do these. I might do these actually next time I'm on. Do these cauldrons, but I do know once you defeat them, you're going to have to go to a workbench and or not a workbench, but go back to Gaia and use upgrades to be able to like override them so there's still tons of things to do um i think i want to do more of the story and maybe do some cauldrons when i come back um because i think i've done a i feel like i've done enough um side content for now anyway um but i will go back and do these at some point Especially these low ones. What was the one that we finished on? It was this one, wasn't it? 
I actually want to see because I put the code in and I put the code in and it was only like one small oh wait this is a different area isn't it There was the one that we finished on last stream. Oh no, it is this one. Can I speak to her now? It wouldn't let me speak to her. I think it said it was mid to late game. Um, as you see, I opened the door. And there's only one chest. And there's nothing else in here. So... And it wouldn't let me speak to her. Look, I can't speak to her. So I don't know if I've glitched it. <laughs> I think I've done it too early. Or it won't let me speak to her until I find the actual data code. But when I researched it, it said that it was somewhere else on the right hand side. So it wasn't here. Because there isn't a door on the right hand side. Like anywhere here. Which is quite weird because usually the date is quite close by. So yeah, I don't know. Um, even in here, like, oh, it's the right hand side. There's nothing in here. I already searched it. Nothing. No, like, little hide walls or just three chests. And that's it. So, I don't know if I've bugged it out by opening it too early. Or I just have to actually have the data as in, in here before it will allow me to proceed with that. But it's only level 15, so I don't I, I don't know. I don't have a clue. <laughs> well overall I think it was quite um quite a successful stream today. To be honest. But yeah. As always, I really appreciate you being here, showing support to the channel. It means a lot. And it helps the channel out. Um, I'm going to say I want to be on tomorrow, but I'm not entirely sure. If I am, it'll be quite late anyway if I'm on. I was quite late on today. But... Yeah. Um, I really appreciate you being here, communicating, spending some time, sharing some thoughts. I actually like this makeup though. Um, you know, I don't think it's like too overwhelming for her. I think it makes her eyebrows um, shine and her eyes as well. Makes her eyes pop. <laughs> um, yeah. As always, like, comment, share and subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost anything, share a lot of generosity, and yeah, as always, take it easy, have a good one, and goodbye.